So what are we on, episode four? We're up to four already? Episode four, everybody. Welcome back, Sticks and Stones, JC and... Apex. <laughs> <laughs> and then right behind us, we got the Joker. We got the Joker. We got, uh, what's his name, Goldsmith? Yeah, Goldsmith, Mr. Goldsmith. <laughs> Mr. Goldsmith. <laughs> and then we have Henry Cavill, ladies and gentlemen, the Superman, or Clark Kent. So today's topics, let's see, what are we getting into today? Well, we're going to talk about straight men that marry another straight man and the benefits from that. Oh, big benefits on that one. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, what else, what else? Let me see. Oh, if you're still getting catfished in 2023. You got a problem. <laughs> a big problem. Yeah. Dating in 2023 is also something we're going to cover. Yep. Chat GPT. Chat GPT, everyone. I know you're using it. And AI. And we're going to discuss a little bit about that. Oh, yeah. AI in the workplace. Yeah. Who's flipping burgers now? And I think we're going to close it out with some virtual sex. Some virtual sex. In Japan, I'm talking to you. <laughs> All right. That's so let's, let's, let's get right into it then. Men marrying men. Yeah. But not gay men marrying gay men. Straight men marrying straight men. So technically, it would be like we're roommates. We are roommates. We are roommates, but we're married. So both of our incomes go into one pot. Absolutely. One account. One account. And we can still date women. I I, I think so. Okay. All right. All right. So listen, straight men marrying straight men. Mm -hmm. All your money goes into one pot. Mm -hmm. In that pot, if you think about it, we're both working. If we have banging jobs. Okay. Uh, we can pretty much schedule it so we both hang out at home. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We both got man caves. We yes. both got toys and cars. Toy and all right. It's all about buy toys. a big ass house. Yes. Pool. Absolutely. We can go on multiple vacations. Yeah. We can just hang out, man, and bang out. <laughs> hang out and bang out. Right? How awesome would that be? I think it would be great. I think, you know, you get two dudes that are, you know, kind of on the same page. Uh, you can have a nice lifestyle. And and two guys would never really beef. No. You know because... what I mean? No, like you, obviously. We're not competing. No, 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 no. You know? What's your sign? Taurus. Taurus. Okay, I'm a Sagittarius. Okay. So Sagittarius, I get along with everybody. Yeah. But then again, at the same time, I don't give a fuck about anybody. No, I, I, I don't just don't give a fuck. All right, there you go. Then. So see, if we were, if we were roommate married men. We'd be totally fine. We'd be totally cool, man. We you hang know? out when we hang out and we just exactly. fucking go our separate You don't, you don't really eat the same stuff as me, though. No. So you that's know. fine. So I wouldn't touch your shit in the fridge. Yeah, exactly. You, you wouldn't have touch my no, shit. You, <laughs> it kind of works. <laughs> that would be awesome. Because that would be because uh, I tell you where, where, like, if I buy some ice cream. Remember when I was talking about my addiction yeah. to ice cream? Yep. If I buy ice cream, right, and I eat a little bit, and then I put it in the fridge. Yeah. The next day, you know, I'm, I'm fiending for it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, salivating. It's gone. Now I have a question. When you eat your ice cream, because okay. I think there's like a technique to eating ice cream. There is. There is. So many of you out there, I'm sure, have your own technique. Do you do you keep it flat or do you just leave divots in your ice cream? Okay, so I used to leave eat. divots, and now what I do is I I kind of slice it into like thin slices and okay. eat it. Like do you I, use I a slice, spoon? It. yeah, I use a spoon. Oh, I, okay. I, I slice it and it kind of rolls. Like, oh, away. you like the ice cream roll? Yeah, the roll, right? All I kind right. of roll it and then I eat it like that. And it's, I don't know why. It's just and then I try That's to keep fine. it flat. And then I'll like beat it a little bit, to make it like a plane, and it gets harder. So then when you cut it again, it's when, like that. whenever you beat it, it gets harder. Exactly. <laughs> hey, exactly. You right? know. There you go. That's too funny. No, I, I know. didn't know that. No, but it, speaking about my ice cream, my wife ate the ice cream. Did she? Oh yeah, the next day. So did I'm you get upset about it? Oh my god, bro! I'm like, yo, who ate my ice cream? First, I looked at my son. What type of ice cream was it again? Ben and Jerry's half baked. Listen, okay. Listen, plug for Ben and Jerry half baked, but Good I stuff. eat the non dairy. How does that taste? You don't even notice. Honestly, you don't notice. It's okay. made with almond milk at that point. Okay. You know what I mean? But um. Okay. Uh, yeah, I feel they make better. a non-dairy Ben and Jerry's. They do make a non-dairy because I, oh. I I felt like when I was eating the dairy, Interesting. like an hour later, I'd shit myself. So like if I had a little bit prior to this show, yeah. midway through, I'd be getting up to Would go be, shit myself. Uh, you know what I mean? That's so, terrible when you shit yourself. <laughs> that's when you need the tushy. Shout out to Tushy, so you wash your ass. Yeah, actually, that's that uh, TikTok that you made, right? <laughs> yes, that's it, what you're talking it is. about? All right. That's the one that I made. people thought you just wanted to get water shot. I know. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't want just water up my butt. I want to power wash it. Power wash. Yeah. Power, the Tushy. The Tushy. You got to get that, man. I'm telling yeah. you right now, it's a game changer. Okay. And for women out there, you can um, wash the, um, the love box. It's like the bidet. It is the bidet the of the bidet future. for the toilet bowl without the bidet. Absolutely. Right. You just put it, attach it to the wall. It's clean water. You're not shooting crappy water in your crotch. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. It's clean, it's clean well, water. So it's not sucking the water from the bowl. Yeah, no, it's coming right off the wall. I'm not saying piss and shit. And I'm not saying don't drink from it. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. But it's really, it's a good wash. Don't, don't leave it out for your dogs, ladies. Yeah, and no, don't do that. Yeah. 
funny story. I had my uh, my son was in my room, and I'm like, why don't you try it? Just try it. And he's like, no, I don't want to. So I kind of forced him to try it. <laughs> yeah. He didn't appreciate it, but it was funny. <laughs> uh, at least I got a laugh. So you, you held him there? Yeah, yeah, I, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I made him sit there. He had pants on, and I just turned it on. Because okay. <laughs> it's funny. I don't know. If you mess with your kids out there, I mean, it's it's you have to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Diapers will be in his house. Yeah. <laughs> it's only shooting water out. Yeah. 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 It's only a wet butt. So back to straight men and married men. What else? Uh, what other perks do you think? Bro, we can we go got? fishing. I like fishing. Uh, if you like fishing. We I can... do. We can have actually we can have a big house with toys. Yeah. Obviously a motorcycle. Boat. We can have motorcycles. Yeah, we, we can need have bikes. boats. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. You want to go out yeah. riding? We go out the Wave runners. we don't have work. Wave runners. You have your own riding buddy? Yeah. We both go out. What kind of bikes do you like? I'm a Harley guy. Okay, so I I'm had a- I had a fat boy. Great bike. Okay. Not again. Nothing against the street bikes. Oh no, listen, you're no. a Harley guy. I'm a street bike guy. Okay, so there we're good. Go. So I'll we're good. Around. Yeah. <laughs> and I can ride the crotch rocket. There you go. That's good. Something. That's good. Something. I need my boating license. Yeah. Yeah, that would be fun. I think going on it's the very water. Very easy to do. You do it right online. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's everything's online now. I know. See, in, in America is weird because like when I go to Greece and I rent a boat mm-hmm. out there, I go to Pilos, which is like in in Peloponnesos over there, and you okay. can rent a boat. You can go around like the whole area of the bay, which is beautiful. It's kind of like renting a wave runner, like type. Yeah, yeah. Setup. It was okay. like at the time. I Just think, give me a license and. Yeah, I think it was like eighty euros. Okay. For like. Eight hours all day. Wow. Oh, dude, it was awesome. Oh, like, that's amazing. Gas and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just make sure you bring it back. Oh, in one yes. Place. Now you get a half hour. <laughs> Ask you if you have a boating license, stuff like that. Man. Oh, just wow. Just get on the boat and go, man. Just out. And I think over here, you... So you I were think... navigating a boat with no license. Yeah. Nobody cared. That's crazy. It was awesome. Uh, it was awesome. Did you know what you were doing? How big yeah, was the boat? Not, I, know, I know what I was doing. It was probably like a, I want to say a 20-footer. It's pretty big. Yeah, it's pretty big. It's a good size yeah, boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I took my friends out there at double motors and stuff like that, man. Got drinks? What? Have drinks out there? Uh, yeah. Well, listen, it's lo- it I don't want to say it's lawless. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's legal. All right. You're not gonna get the coast guard, coast guard come around. Yeah. No, I never, I've never seen a coast guard unless you're in like bigger city type areas, oh, like wow. Athens or yeah. Kamata, stuff like that. Yeah. But um, cool. but even over here though, I rented boats here. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, and you're not allowed you to go, go to the ringer. You stuff. can't. Yeah. But we went to New York City. Oh, okay. oh I read that at the Highlands in New Jersey. We and went, you and you took oh, it to New York. Dude, we went to oh New my York God. City. We were going around the Statue of Liberty. Having That's cool. Fun. Oh That's yeah, fun. yeah, yeah. We went all. You ever do things. wave running around the Statue of Liberty and stuff? I didn't do wave running there, but I did oh, okay. go to Seaside and do wave running. Okay. Yeah. While I was in Seaside doing nice. wave running, the goddamn Jersey Shore cast was there doing it at the oh. same time. Did you roll up in your Mustang? No, no, no. That time I had the Jeep. I had the Jeep. Let me ask you a question. Do you like? Out of all the old supercars, do you like the Mustang, the Camaro, or the Trans Am? Like, what years are we talking about? Oh, okay. We're, we're talking about like that? 60s, 70s, 80s. Uh, okay, well, I mean, all all time. So we don't have to, I mean, because we can go through the, because certain years were better. Listen, I, love, I love a nice 68 Camaro yeah, with the flip great, lights from yeah. the movie Better Off Dead. Yeah, that yeah style, the black one. Okay? That's sweet. But I also like the Smoking the Bandit Trans Am. Yeah, that was a great you Trans Am. 78? I think 78? it was a 78. 78, yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah, something like that? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, um, I remember watching Smoking the Bandit and uh, Sally Fields, man. What a hottie. She was hot. Oh, and how about Knight Rider? Did you watch Knight Rider? I did watch Knight Rider. I yeah. know I'm a little older. I but... never really was interested <laughs> in having that car. Yeah. But for the show, oh, it was great. a cool car. Kit. You know Shout I mean? out to Trans Am. Oh, yeah. Kit, man. <laughs> Kit. <laughs> That's too funny. But listen, we, we can have toys like that. Yeah, which is cool. You know, you know what know? I mean? Like, if you were, like, like listen. It, it, My kids are older, so it's like, yeah. I'm ready to, you know, have no. toys. I, I, we should just divorce. You know? We should divorce the wives, get together. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Be like, listen, keep them in one home. We take one home, or we just sell everything, buy them a nice big one, and buy ourselves one. Uh, that's a great <laughs> idea. Hey, if we're putting in the pot, man, we got alimony. Yeah, that's true. You know true. what I'm saying? That's there true. you go, right? That's oh. true. Man, I'm thinking that's about it. Let me let me go upstairs and wake her up. Yeah. <laughs> Try it with the pillow. No, yeah. Yeah, no, no, I'm kidding. It'll be okay. <laughs> let me just take a deep breath. <laughs> oh man, Listen, we're only kidding, man. Like, yeah, yeah, they're jokes. Yeah, yeah. They're just jokes. Yeah. They'll be with us next yeah. week. <laughs> Sticks and stones. You know yeah, exactly. That's too funny. No, so, no, that is awesome, man. Two guys getting married like that, and I actually saw a TikTok with that. That's where mm-hmm. we got the idea from. Yeah, and and yeah. thinking about it over and over. But you got to find the right guy. 
Because don't get me there are bitch guys out there. There are, but you don't want like, the whole, you know, no, you, jealousy no, thing. No, and... like, I don't give a fuck. Bro, you can bring home a smoking hot chick, and I'm yeah. fucking like, ho, oh, oh, ho, you know what I mean? Yeah. High five yeah. you, man, you know? Yeah. And if you need me for the threesome, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I feel like one, if it's two penises, it's one too many. Yeah, I hear you. I don't man. know. I hear, I hear you. Two I hear chicks, you. I get. Yeah, well. Two dudes, I don't know. Two chicks, though, you're just, sometimes what you're if, just what in the way. If, if the balls touch, I mean, is that gay? I don't know, man. <laughs> At that point, you know, you got to angle it properly. Yeah, it's, you know it's the so angle, they just right? Go, yeah, so they go. It's not two ships in the night, my friend. <laughs> you can't clap. Uh, they got to they gotta go yeah. away. They don't clap. They slap. <laughs> then they got to go away from each other. <laughs> yeah. I think you're going to be near each other. Yeah, not two. <laughs> away. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, there's enough holes to play. You go east, I go west. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but, uh, that's too funny. No, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. But um, but hey, listen. At least if we're together. None of us will get catfished. No, that's true. That's you know? true. I think you know. One time, I did get catfished. I would remember. I was. Uh, Let's hear this, man. Tell us. Tell us. So funny story. I was like, I guess I was like twenty. AOL was like the thing. Oh, AOL. You know, big, so yeah. we would sign on AOL, and and the, I'm talking to these girls. What was you it ninety five in AOL? No, it was like ninety eight, nine, ninety eight, okay. ninety nine. Because I think AOL was around in ninety five. You go in a chat room. You yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I went into like Central Jersey or NJ Hotties or whatever. Yeah, I went to North yeah, Jersey. Yeah. I'm still friends with some people from those chat oh, rooms. Oh wow, that's oh yeah, wild. yeah, yeah, it's crazy. So, so I, you know, we, we I talked to these girls. I'm like, oh, why don't you come down by us and you know we'll meet up with you guys. So back in the day, it was like not everyone had a picture. Yeah, I had a picture. You know, on, okay. a, on a hard disk. Okay. So I sent my have, like, picture. like, the hot body out? You know, yeah, I, mean? I was like... all, you know, <laughs> you know, old tank topped, you know, and, yeah, you know, yeah. all tanned up good. So anyway, so I get in touch with these, you know, women. They they decide to drive by. They're from Vernon. Okay. So they saw, they decide, I'm like, meet me at A&P, you know, uh, uh, in my town. By the bush, right? By... <laughs> yeah. So. My buddy rolls up in an Acura. With, I'm with him in the passenger seat. I see these two women. Atrocious and more atrocious. <laughs> it was bad. It was just bad. Okay. Uh, it was nothing what they told us. Um, it was like locked up. It, it was the... It was really bad. They were just, they well, were very, lock up. You ever they that? were very round and they were not pretty. It was, okay. and I'm like, I'm like, I said to my buddy, I'm like, Kevin, you got to lose, you got to lose these girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and he goes, so he steps on it. The girls start chasing us, right? I'm like, you got to lose. Wait, wait. What kind of car did they have? They they were in like a, like a Honda. Okay, we're in an old Acura Legend. Okay, so basically almost the same. Was similar? It, was it v, both V sixes? You think or four cylinders? I think she, they were in a four. Okay. We were in a six. But they had VTEC. They had VTEC. They had VTEC. So so we're driving. I'm like, Lou, you got to lose. I'm staring out the back. You got to lose these girls. Okay. These chicks were Mario Andretti. I, they were Mario Andretti. They weren't losing us. They were going to eat steak. And I was scared. So, but we finally got away, and that was that. Um, oh, it was, man. yeah. Did, you, did they ever hit you back up? Like, yeah, they did, but I just was, you know, I ignored that shit. <laughs> Blocked. <laughs> Blocked. Yeah, yeah, So, yeah. it's scary. Cat, being catfished, I think, see, back then, I think it was easier to catfish someone. Very easy. Yeah, it was very easy to catfish someone. Nowadays, how, how I don't understand how people get caught up in it. You know, I, I, there's that show on MTV, okay? And it, I feel like it's been out for like 20, Neve, 20 years Neve. now. Yeah, me. But it's not Neve anymore. I don't know what it is. They have got new people now. Who knows? Yeah, no, I, I think he's still on. Oh, he's still in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else is that guy gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, once that show's over, he did Dancing with the Stars. I, I think he was really good. At it. Was he good? I didn't oh, watch. All right, it. All right. I, I, I can't tell with that guy. But anyway, um, so if you ever look, it's mostly weird people that are getting catfish. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. A little, little bit of a, a strange. Yeah, you know, like maybe they got something wrong with them, mm -hmm. or just maybe I don't know, man. Like low stuff. It's those people that that sit home all day and play video games, pissing in bottles, type of people. You know what I'm saying? Pissing in bottles. Yeah, they piss in bottles so they don't have to so leave the room, get up. leave the game. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Okay, dude. it's crazy stuff like that, right? Yeah. The people that pretend that they're working for the U.S. military while playing COD, right? God, whatever you want to talk about. <laughs> Right, they got PTSD from playing the. That's what I'm yeah. saying. They come out like fucking like three weeks later, man. <laughs> oh my like, god, that's crazy. First daylight, yeah. So that's what's getting the catfish, I think, yeah. because maybe okay. they're not in the know. You know what See, I mean? See, some of the people that it seems like they're genuine and they're they they seem like they're really I'm upset. Not, I'm not saying they're not nice people. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that they don't deserve to find somebody. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just saying I think that they're they're 
not street educated. Let me put it that way. They, they, have, they don't have street smarts. I think a lot of people are like that nowadays. They, I think we grew up in a different time. No, we did grow up in a different you time. Know? Like I know when I'm getting scammed. Absolutely. I know when, when somebody has an Adam's Someone's apple trying to, to pass off fake titties. Okay. What if they have a beard and they hide it? You know what I'm saying? Listen, I've been on dates before <laughs> where there was a, a, a pretty girl. But I kind of noticed some things out of out of the ordinary. But I'm not a dick, okay? Even, sure you're not. No, no, no. I swear to God, I was I was never a dick to people unless I had to. No, be, I got you. Know you I, mean? I got you. So yeah. uh, you know, mouse mouse obviously, mouse. I wasn't gonna let the date take on the form of anything sexual mm -hmm. at that point because I I, I was kind of iffy, right? Did you, did you make a lot of eye contact? I did. Okay. I did. I mean, she was in the car. You know, yeah, we wanted to see a movie. Then we went out, out to eat and stuff like that, man. It just there were certain things I was noticing. It's possible that she was just like a a, a female with just like manly features. Did she? Did you she see was a bulge? Tall. You see a bulge in the pants? I, no, I didn't see a bulge in the pants. Luckily, it was tight pants, but I, it was the neck area, man. Back in the day, they used to tuck it. Yeah, I know, but the neck <laughs> the neck area had some issues. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got you. But I was still very nice. It was throwing you off. Oh, yeah, it was throwing me off. So yeah. So when I I gut feeling. It mm -hmm. was like, keep it in the pants. I got you. Okay, let me okay. put it that way. Oh, so, man, I, I wish you went for it. I, you know, that's a great story. It is a great story. And then but, you, you, you find, know, you know, a bat and bull. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pour an acid down my neck. Yeah. But, um, oh, my God. Um, so that was the situation. But I was very nice to that mm -hmm. person. You know what okay. I'm saying? So if that person ever sees this show, luckily I was nice to them. They're not right? going to comment something. No, they're not going to comment on me. But right. I did... I don't want to say I got catfish, but I did meet a girl, mm -hmm. kind of like a farmer type chick. Okay. But was very weird, right? And and was giving me like we just weirdo vibes, kind of like those. No, wait, vibes. was this an AOL? Was this an AOL? AOL, story? yeah. Well, That's I, funny. I, I have another one. And I'm okay. gonna follow up. So wait, check this out though. Go so, ahead. So I was I met this girl. Uh huh. And actually, there's this there's, there's more stories. I got a lot of stories, bro. Oh, that's good. So there's this one girl where I met, and she was giving me these weird vibes, okay. kind of like psycho vibes, like the girl that's that scary, the kind of girl where if you Get with her. Mm -hmm. The next day, she thinks you're dating type of vibes. Oh, and no. won't leave you alone type vibes. Yeah, I got you. And I wasn't about that at, at that time in my life. Yeah, I just wanted to hang out, have fun. Absolutely. So uh, we went to see. It was like a Freddie Prince Jr. movie, man. I think she's all that or something like that. Okay, I know. I, I actually yeah, know yeah, that. Yeah, movie. maybe even before that. Those okay? were great movies. <laughs> it was a good movie, yeah. But the 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 whole time, I was just. I was talking up Freddie Prince Jr. Yeah. I was like, oh man, he's such a great, he's such a good looking guy. Yeah. I was just saying all this. Oh, crazy so she shit. thought maybe you were. So wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it, the movie ended, right? She was like, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, I don't want to do nothing else. I'm like, all right, cool. So I bring her home, right? And like, okay. She got out of the car. She was like, lose my number. <laughs> oh, That's what she said. That's what she said to me then. Oh my God. And, like, and look, they had like a dirt, Ouch. they had like a dirt. What driveway? Mean? Yeah. It's kind of mean, man. It was kind of mean. That was kind of mean. All right. Oh, that's so not, mean. Gay or anything like that, okay? But at that point There's nothing of time, wrong with being gay. No. But at that point of time, I understand that was a derogatory yeah. word yeah. that was used like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And she used it on me. You know what I mean? Mm. Not that it, not that it bothered me because obviously I it knew did bother you know, you. I knew what I was doing at that time. I got you. To get out of the situation, okay? Yeah. But just the fact that she said it, That's great. I was like, "Fuck it, bitch." That is great. So, so then what I did was I just fucking did donuts and I was like, "Whoa, whoa!" In the driveway, and uh, it took in the off. dirt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because cool. my whole thing was when I was when I was you know meeting these weirdos mm -hmm. online. Yeah. I never let anybody know my real name or where I live. Ah, uh, what was your uh, what was your uh? Alias name. It was JC Blade, man. JC Blade. Yeah, nice. JC All Blade, right. You know what I mean? And uh, <laughs> I just never let anybody know where, where I live. So if I we're you. going out somewhere, it would always be at a hotel or yeah. I'd meet somebody out somewhere at like okay. a diner or like the movies, the mall, or something mm -hmm. like that. You know what I mean? You got to go to a neutral place. Neutral place. Yeah, exactly. Just in case. Because there's been times where I've been jumped. Oh, you know what I mean? Really? I, 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 I guess I don't That's know. Scary. Some girl had had her brothers there, or whatever. And yeah. I had a huge fight, jumped. I mean, luckily really? you're gonna jump me. Know how to fight? Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know I mean? Wow. If you don't know how to fight. Don't try to jump no, me. You know what I mean? No, that's, that's um, not cool. So yeah, that that was a that was a separate court case we could talk about. Okay. Um, and then uh, uh, real quick, there was one girl that I met who um, we hung out a few times, mm -hmm. right? And the first time I met her was awesome. Okay. Right. She looked really good, dressed really nice. Second time I met her was kind of dressed down, right? Which I, I didn't care at that okay. point, right? Third, Third I think it was like the fourth date, Sweat man. Pants. Yeah, it was like it was like, <laughs> what happened, right? That's yeah, yeah, was, yeah. Right? Yeah, who are you? Yeah, but not that I minded. Yeah, I just said, hey, listen, we all have down days. You yeah, know? absolutely. And um, at that point, I think I was going to Greece. Yeah, and I told her while I was at her house. Now this mm -hmm. is like two in the morning. I got work the next day. I tell this girl, I'm like, hey, I was like, 
I'm going to Greece, you know, this weekend. Uh, yeah. You know, I'll be back at the end of the summer. Freak. She turned into a freak, bro. She kung fu gripped my steering wheel. No, she didn't. While you were driving? No, in her uh-huh. driveway. Wouldn't let go. Was screaming at me why I'm doing this to her. Blah. I'm like, yo, I didn't know we were dating. Wait, time out. Did you smash? No. Oh, you didn't even smash. Oh, no. we really? never smashed. She maybe spoke to the mic once or twice. Oh, but I never smashed. See, is it is it is speaking to the mic more intimate than smashing? I don't know. That we have to talk about. I don't that. know. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, we do. You know what I mean? I feel like smashing is more intimate for some, but for others, for, I, I think I think speaking to the mic is more of a personal thing. From a guy's point of view, from it's a, like foreplay. Yeah, I yeah, I think it's a great warm up. Okay, yeah, you know, yeah. But... It's it's the hole before the hole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. I apologize for him. I, right. you know. But I'm working on him. All right. I'm doing shock therapy. <laughs> Listen, I just want to say how it is. But yeah. what I'm saying is, so this girl did not let go of my car. I literally had to get out of my car and grand theft auto this chick out of my oh, car. You yanked her out? Oh, dude. Her father came out of the house two o'clock in the morning. She was screaming and helped me yank her out. And then I and then I left. I never saw her again. It's funny. I had I dated some psychos. I had very bad taste in women for a while. Okay, they were hot, but they were psychos. But can I say something really quick? Go ahead. Crazy women, best sex. At one hundred percent. If you're out there and you're with a, a crazy woman chick? that just well, church girls are pretty good too. But yeah, yeah, they are. But the crazy ones, they're gonna they'll fuck you and then they'll you know take you for a ride. Yeah, mentally. yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. But the so, craziness is good. <laughs> If you can handle the craziness. If you can handle it, yeah. that's just it. It's like but, being on Pornhub 24-7. But it's crazy all the time is no good. No, nah, no. Nah. You, you know, gotta, you gotta mellow out a little bit, man. Like I need you to have to mellow. I need to not see my phone blow up yeah. for like 20 minutes. Yeah, if it's like 40 text oh, and, and oh, calls I've and had that. this, like oh, just my God. leave me the hell yeah, alone. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? I think men need their space sometimes. Listen, everybody needs their space. You know, because if someone is gonna be on top of you, it's like it's not good. It's no, not good you for you breathe. mentally. It's not good. No, yeah, you know, no, you, you need that breathe. that space. I tell my wife all the time. I was like, yeah. "Yo, you want to go out and have fun with the girls? Adios." Yeah, I got no problem. That's just don't, good. Just don't do me any favors. Yeah, you know no, I, I hear mean? you. I hear you. Because I'll, I'll get that card, man, real quick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. I'm marrying. You know what I'm, I'm marrying right? Apex. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Now you can threaten with that. We, a we got deck of getting we got, free pussy cards. You, know? you can't see me. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's too funny. So I was dating the psycho, and um, I was messing around. I was not a loyal young guy. I just okay. wasn't, unfortunately. Yeah. So, so if you remember this guy, lady, whoever you are, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm telling the story. Chime in. So I'm messing around with this girl. Okay. The the girlfriend comes over my house, waits for the girl to leave the house. To beat the living shit out of her on the driveway. Okay. That happens. Yeah. Okay. I'm sitting there. I'm sorry. Same girl. Okay. Ran in, broke into my house and was searching for a girl that was hiding in my closet. At your dad's house? At my father's house. Okay. Yeah. Just, That's crazy. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just driving. I mean, chase, trying to chase me down, you know, uh, yeah. throwing stuff at me. I okay. mean, real was psycho. She hot though? She was. She was a pretty woman. She I mean, was, yeah. She was. If you say woman. What age are we talking? I was in my. I don't know if I was twenty-one yet. Like I was okay. twenty. Okay. You know. So she was roughly around the same age. Around the same age. Okay. Not yeah. like an older chick. Not an older okay, chick. Okay. She was same age as me, and I, and I wasn't. I wasn't the best guy. So you know, I made mistakes. But... All right. So you deserve some of the craziness. I, then. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. But so uh, there's... how'd she break in the house? So my sister like kind of opened the door, and she like. Oh, she pushed Mar- She pushed my sister really? out of the way. Oh yeah, oh, you'll have to ask her about that she one. She like throw down with her. No, and she ran upstairs, and I, you know, I had to hide. That's crazy. I mean, was she like a big chick too? Oh, she barely one hundred and five pounds. Oh really? Dangerous. Oh, German. Oh <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah. There you go. Searching for the Jew. <laughs> you hiding in the attic? <laughs> it was. I'm telling you, man. I was. I was scared she was gonna. Oh. Throw me in a microwave or something. Oh, the chip. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh man, that's, oh, that's scary, what, shit. scary shit. Scary stuff, that's man. It. That is crazy. Yeah. No, I had a crazy girlfriend. I went to the movies with with my friends, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Listen, there's a certain time where you got to be with the boys. You okay? do. You, you do. can't just take this chick all the time. No, you, know you got to have boys yeah, night. Exactly. So finally, one night, I was like, "Hey, listen, we're going. To, we're going to see. I think it was like Transformers back in the day. Man. Yeah, I got you. It's like we're going to the movies. We're going to hang out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay. So one of my idiot friends brings 
the girl that he's dating. See, that that's that's a no-no. Exactly. You don't bring a girl to guys' exactly. night. You don't bring a girl. But he he was trying to like appease her. Yeah. To yeah. show her oh he broke her. But he broke broke code. He broke code, okay? And that yeah. this is something we have to discuss. No, no, that is something we have to discuss. Got um, it. so this kid brings the thing, right? The movie ends. She's mm-hmm. she's blowing up my phone, right? But I'm not picking it up because I'm in the movies, right? Yeah. And uh so we walk out, and as I walk out, man, my buddy is with me, right? And he looks, he's like, he's like, Yo, bro, there's your girl. So I look, yo, she's in the car. Oh my god. Balling. Balling. It like was like death crying stare. and staring. No, at no, me. not crying. Oh, just death stare. Oh. Like sour puss face. Oh, 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 ready to kill like, you. Yeah, resting B face. Death stare. Right. What do you do? She doesn't get out of the car. You got to run. No. Well, we go to. We go. Remember that forerunner I told you? I used yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my hotel mm-hmm. on wheels. Yeah. <laughs> so, we, we, my buddy, the, the yeah, we, my buddy, we walk, music. we walk nonchalantly to the car. We yeah. invite everybody, whatever. She sees the girl, obviously, right? The one girl. The one girl, right? The one girl that's not with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So I'm Damn. like, I'm like, motherfucker. Yeah. Now so you're then anyway, yeah. So we, we get to the car. My buddy at the time has a, has a camera phone. Yeah. Right. And he's recording me. He's like, he's like, Hey, I just want to let you know, this is the last time we're going to see Jay. Oh, that's, that's great. <laughs> he's like, I, I didn't do it, you know, and he's he's recording her following us now. Oh my god! And I'm driving this kid back to his house. So wait, you're driving and she's just following. She's you. just following, bro. It's like it's like a yeah, but I'm just That's driving stalking. I, it is, but I'm just driving normal speeds. It wasn't nothing crazy, right? I was like, you were nervous. I was at the point, yeah. I'm like, I don't gotta get. She knows where the fuck I live. So yeah, like, yeah, Where am yeah. I gonna go? You know. So um, I drop this kid off and then I go home, obviously, and she meets me out there, and it's just man. Yucky, 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 you know what I mean? And I was just like, <sighs> and then you smashed after like, that, yeah, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think yeah, you did. Because you, did. you know, yeah. crazy chicks. She yeah, the crazy. crazy chicks. She was fucking crazy. They'll scream, want to kill you, and then they're fucking. And it all like, sounds like know. makeup sex. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I think Which that's why great. they do it. Because I think they just want makeup sex all the time. Makeup sex is the best. <laughs> it's I, the best. I, I think you have to fight yeah. to have that really good sex. But it's double tiring. Because it is. Because then you got to go through the whole mental shit. You know what I mean? And then you got to go through the whole physical shit. See, as you're getting older, you're gonna see. You're not gonna want. That mental stress. No. You know? And now I kind of understand why there's a thing called monster in laws, mm-hmm. where especially for boys, and especially like more so for boys, right? You yeah. Got, like the crazy mom. Yeah. But even for girls, though, where obviously we've been through it. Yeah. Now we don't want to see our children go through the same bullshit. No, not so it's at like, all. You got to tell them, hey, listen, get rid of this guy or get rid of this girl. And then the kids you try to act, give them good advice. Yeah, you try to give them good advice, but they don't want to hear it. No, so they stay with this person they know better. And, and ruin their few years. Yeah. Exactly, it, it's going to happen like that. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, it does happen yeah. like that. So yeah. I'm just going to tell my son or daughter. I'm like, they're good for you. They're the greatest. And if I say that, they're going to be like, oh, mm. Dad likes them. Let's get rid of them. You know what I mean? So you're going to do the Jedi mind reverse trick. psychology. I hope it works, it, it, it man. Works. I'll let you know. <laughs> let me know. My son, I just tell him, I'm like, listen. Just be become friends with every woman that you meet, every girl that you meet, and if something grows from it, that's great. If not, you know, and you try to, you know, build something so you can. If the person's know. nice, don't burn the bridge. Exactly, because there've been times where I had a great friend, and she had like multiple friends. Mm-hmm. I was then, I was able to make my rounds. You know exactly, what I'm exactly. Yeah, You're, it's like networking. Yeah, <laughs> it's networking for your people, and that's like me talking like a little ho ho. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know, I was nice. I, to I'm a virgin, right? You know what I felt like when I was younger, man. Remember that movie with uh, what's his name, man? Doctor Dreamy. What's what's his uh, name? Mick Dreamy. Mick Dreamy. But what's his name in real life? It can't buy me love. Are you thinking about that? No, that movie where he was the pizza boy, extra. extra I love pizza. you. I want to marry you. Yeah, yeah. That was the guy on the moped. No, that was can't buy me love. No, no, not that movie. Not that movie. The movie that, Patrick Dempsey. Patrick Dempsey. I got it. All right, when he was the pizza delivery guy. That was Can't Buy Me Love. Was it? I don't know. That's why we need that Jamie person. I think it was Can't Buy Me Love. Because No, I don't know if it was. And he wrote on the lawnmower at the end. I don't know. And he, yeah. got, he got the pretty girl. He, he ended up. Did he get the pretty girl? Yeah, he got the pretty girl okay. in school. Okay. But he was delivering pizzas and smashing old ladies. That's what I'm saying. Extra <laughs> anchovies. Yeah. That, that he was. Yeah. And then the Italian yeah. guy was riding the moped. That, all, that also <laughs> worked out. That was Can't Buy Me Love. Yeah, oh, but yeah, that's how I felt back in the day. Yeah, you know, going around, you were delivering pizzas, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, I was delivering something with that and with some spicy sauce. <laughs> you know, I have spicy mayo. <laughs> Extra anchovies, man. That's, yeah, that was a great. I saw movie. that movie, man, and then you know, I blew up after that. After that whole incident where yeah. I got my heart broken, and then after yeah. that, I just went on a learning phase. I took one year celibate, which yeah. was which was my. I never took the year celibate. I kind of. 
I lost my virginity very young, unfortunately. Yeah. I was 12. Okay. The nanny. You know. Uh, very old lady. Okay. She had no teeth. Oh, I'm, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> she was 13. Gum? I was 12. I got. Okay. I would get gum, though. I mean, I, why not, right? It's got to feel good, though. Probably. But anyway, I started young, and I kind of was always sexually driven. I don't okay. know. I know what just, you mean. I yeah. was, too. I was, too, but there was times I held back on certain things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, because my, my parents drilled it into me. Don't knock anybody up. Yeah. Well, I would always pull out. I, I understandably, but super sperm. Yeah. I got some I kids you. now. You know Did you mean? use, uh, yeah. Did you use condoms a lot? In the beginning? <laughs> in, the be in the beginning. In the beginning. And then you're like, wait a second. Listen, it, this feels a lot better without condoms. In the beginning, condoms. God made condoms. Yeah, that right? did. And then I preach condoms. And then I, I think I ate the apple. Yeah. And then there, absolutely after that it was no condoms. And then but I was like scared. Yeah. I unfortunately I, I it's scary to to make someone late for their period. I kind of vetted people <laughs> at one point though. Yeah. I vetted people to see what they were about. Like if they sure. they just wanted booty. Yeah. Or if they wanted to like entrap me for something. See, my 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 game, I mean, I'm sorry. The way I dated was I'm not looking for anything serious. Okay. And I just wanna I just wanna date right now. Yeah, well, you got to establish that from the get-go. But you say that right from the gate. Yeah. You know, and then... You got to feel them out. Well, that's what no, AOL was good for. I always... Yes. Hey, you know, you say your age, where you're from, this, yeah, that, listen, this. I knew, I knew if I told somebody, you know, I want to go to a hotel, and they agreed, I knew it was coming. Yeah. You know, if they didn't agree... Scary, right? Yeah, yeah. Imagine you get catfished at a hotel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily, I kind of... <laughs> You know, you know, I she got a pictures. huge Adam's apple. Yeah, I saw pictures. Yeah. I did this. I, I, there was this. You learn as you go. Two forms of identification. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, no, but you 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 learn as you go. You yeah. know what I mean? That's why these people getting catfish today. Mm -hmm. It's either they don't know, and it's the first time it's happening. Yeah. But I would say after a week or two. Yeah. Okay. You got to get some type of video conferencing going. Yeah. All right. Now we have Zoom. We have, we have everything. Brave uh, Google yeah, Google me. You got Google me. You yeah. got fucking you have everything. FaceTime. Yeah. You got the Android All our phones. FaceTime. Yeah, yeah. You, so if you're out there getting catfished, uh you you need to you need to grow up. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> don't get catfished, man. Yeah. All right? Cuz it's people... it's called need. Call us. Yeah, call us. Yeah, we'll we will you. come with you. We will help you. We'll, we will bring our cameras and Oh, man. And then we'll right. interview the person. Bring them up for you now. <laughs> catfish my boy? <laughs> But uh, <laughs> oh, uh, that's too funny. Nah, that's crazy, man. That's Did you crazy. ever, uh, you ever uh, get into a fight with your friends? Like, not with against your friends, but with your friends against other people. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Oh, yeah. There's been mul multiple times, man. All right. Oh, there, there was, uh, it was, it was crazy times. Did you ever get into a fight in a club? Hunkabunka. Oh, nice. Hunkabunka. Roadhouse. I don't even know what the fight was about. <laughs> Hunkabunka was great. Yeah, right? It was, we went there one night, and um, you had to have a date to get in. Really? Yes. So I remember I saw these two girls in a Volkswagen. All right? Okay. And pretty good looking, right? Gotcha. And uh, so they were walking, and they were, like, talking pretty loud. Like, I guess yeah. they were kind of arguing. Okay. Right? So I'm like, oh, this, this is my chance. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I, you, I, you I, saved I, the day. Yeah, I came out the bushes, bro. I ran up to these girls, right? And I was like, ladies. <clears throat> I was like, listen. I hate to, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin your night anymore. Uh -huh. Let's make it more exciting. But like to get in the club, at least as a guy, yeah. you have to have a date. I said, would you mind if, you know, I got, a, you got me in the club. I said, I'll buy the first round. That's right? right. They were like, listen, just hang out. We'll get, we'll get you in the club, man. Oh, cool. So we got in the club. They ended up being so cool. Yeah. We hung out all night. That's, right? that's cool. The only problem is the one friend. Yeah. That I think drove. Her, they were they live far away. I, why do I know like, where this is going? They were out like Tom's River. No, she got like wasted. Oh, wasted no. to the point where she you was like babysit. Yeah, oh. yeah. And I, this poor girl wasn't from around here. The other oh, one, no. the friend, they both weren't. You know what I mean? So, so what you do? So we ended up helping them. Oh. But the other guy that I went with also got pretty plastered. So what? What? Listen to this. And 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 this is probably where the story comes from because I think I I was first doing this. Gotcha. The kid that got wasted, yeah. right, we ended up bringing him home, but he lived near a shop right. I got you. So we put him in a shopping cart. Okay. We parked the shop right because we didn't want to park in the driveway. Yeah, of course. And we brought him home. That's good. Right? And then we rang the doorbell a couple and just times. Left and him just, yeah, just left him in the shopping that's, cart. Yeah, just left him in the shopping cart and ran. That's, that's okay? hilarious. He was hanging out of it. You know what I'm saying? And then as we're doing that, me that's and the good. girl, yeah. the friend is like puking all over her car. So you're hooking up. So, uh, no, we didn't, I didn't hook up with her, bro. Oh, you know I, mean? I, I thought, I thought this, this, you know. 
party was gonna go no, 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 in no. a different that's, direction. That's, that's the one. Story. It sounded like a good, you know. Yeah, yeah. Now it know. ended up being a. Uh, listen, it, it felt like a, a good night because I helped somebody out. Absolutely. You know what I mean, and and then I sent them on their merry way, and then I went home and went to work the next day. But uh, the big fight that happened was. Yeah. Um, I went to Hunkabunka, and I don't know what happened. I think somebody nudged into me. Okay. And I, I actually said, hey, oh, you, you know. You went, like, you went New Jersey on him? No, I was just like, hey, my bad. Right? And yeah, the yeah. guy turned around. I was like, what the fuck did you say? Oh. Right? And I think it was like a Staten Island guy. Of course. Because that was the accent, right? Yeah. And I was like, bro. I was like, you know, you bumped into me. And I said, you know, sorry. Yeah. And, and then start swinging, bro. Oh, jeez. You know, I think he had beer muscles at that oh, point. Oh, okay, right? I got you. And he caught me pretty good. Yeah. And then uh, my buddy was there. So yeah. my, my, wow. I pushed into my buddy. My buddy turns around. He yeah. starts swinging. Everybody's wow. swinging, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what happened was the one of the bouncers grabbed me and lifted me up, and I swung my head back, and I broke his nose. Oh, wow. And then, yeah, they, they threw You went out. Steven Seagal on him. I don't know what happened, dude, but <laughs> I, I went back hardcore, and I broke his nose. Wow. And they, they threw us out. I, remember Hunga Bunga had, like, the little four steps? Yeah, there were steps to yeah, go yeah. down. So they threw me out of there, like, wow. like Jack. Jazzy Jeff out of uh, uh, <laughs> Uncle Phil's house, right? Yeah. So I landed and I get up and then there were already cops outside. Oh wow! So then the cops okay. came, just like tackling yeah. us all, man. But then we were still fighting outside with the cops. Oh you wow! Know, so I didn't know who tackled Thank me. Thank God you didn't get arrested. Well, we did get arrested. Uh, I didn't get arrested, Ralph. Yeah, I, I was. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but uh, they, 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 luckily, that had to stay the night, and yeah, then they got out in the morning. Man. All right. Yeah, because I was, I, I wasn't. They made drunk. you stay the night. I wasn't drunk yet. Uh, Some man, of them, they had me take my shoelaces out and shit. Really? I don't hang myself. I was like, bro, for real? Yeah, come on. I was like, I gotta get home to Dragon Ball after this. Yeah. <laughs> Hurry up, man. Wow. Uh, I was on uh, Cartoon Network at that time. That's funny, yeah, yeah Dragon yeah. Ball. How old were you the first time you went to a club? Well, think about this. Greece. Okay. There's no age limit. Oh, wow. So, so you, you experienced I, I've been young. clubbing a long time. Yeah. yeah. Probably like six, seven years old. I wasn't hanging out with my parents. Oh, clubs. wow. You know what I mean? I so had cousins that were a little I older. I did night. You yeah. Know. No, there was no tea night out there, no. man. It's, it's, it's whatever night. You yeah. go there. And li- nowadays, mm-hmm. nowadays, I, I, when I go there and I'm hanging out with the club, right? And now with my wife and stuff, I, I look at her and I said, listen, how old do you think those girls are, man? Mm-hmm. Dude, there's like young, 14-year-old right? girls that look like they're like 27. I know. And it's like, you know what I mean? It, it, it's, yeah. it's so crazy. I, I don't know. Like, do they have parents, some of these girls? it's They let them out of the house, something like that? Listen, they probably do what used to happen back in the day where they dress like church girls. Oh, and, and they like, just oh, peel it off? Yeah, bye, Daddy. We're going. You know? Yeah. Sandra's here to pick me up. And then they wa- they go outside and like a mile away from yeah, the house. And then, and then you like, check your phone and you see where the hell they are. I guess you could. Now you know, some parents on. have a lot of trust. Fuck that. Not me, man. My daughter's <laughs> going to be at the club. I, I want to be in the hoodie in the I don't back. trust anyone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I hear you. She'll be dancing. You'll be like, homie, the clown. The guy she's dancing with grabbing up on her ass. He's going to make his oh, way to the bathroom. God. I'm going to make my way into the bathroom. Yeah. Remember, uh, what's that movie uh, with, with um, um, what's his name? Oh, the cable guy. The cable guy. He sees him. Yeah. Jim like, Carrey. So peanuts. <laughs> That's that I that's the guy up in the back. Yeah, yeah. Like, leave her alone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> a t- I don't ever want it to escalate to that. Yeah. I don't ever. Yeah. I, I don't want my kids going to clubs. I want to be able to trust my kids. And that you that's why I establish that. That's why I send them to martial arts. Okay. How I mean, does that build my trust son? Between... My son is amazing at it, and my wife even tells me like now they're at spring break, obviously. Okay. And he he takes my like workout equipment. Yeah. And he works out. That's good. You know what I mean? And he's six. Going on seven. It's good. Yeah, he works out. Discipline. Yes. And what he does, yeah. he, he he practices. He air practices himself. That's awesome. So what I want to do is both we'll, my kids started that way. We'll probably right. put over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the um the 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 boxing bag. Yeah. But the one that you put sand in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean, I don't want to hang stuff. No, no, no. You know but I mean? it's a stable one. Yeah. Yeah. And I let him practice on that. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I want him to get. To the point where I get feel hand mitts. Do you have hand mitts? I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have extra. I want to get for, to the point where he's where I'm comfortable when he leaves the house mm-hmm. that he can handle himself. Absolutely. And or protect his sister or friends. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's good. Yeah, but my daughter too. You know, she practices well. And what I do for her is I I really get her into Brazilian jiu jitsu. Well, that's good stuff. Now, and I'll tell you why. Teach the submission stuff. Yes, and I'll tell you why. Because guys is one thing, right? Mm-hmm. But another guy is not going to try to rape another guy. Well, so, well, listen, <laughs> okay, maybe in jail, but, <laughs> but as for a girl, yeah. I think it's very good because obviously when, when a guy takes down a girl, uh-huh. they always go to the ground. Absolutely. He uses weight They're on to their back. So yeah, yeah, she yeah, can yeah. choke them out. And, right and, and listen, if it doesn't all pan out to be something sexual mm-hmm. though, but usually if it does, yeah, 
At least my daughter would be like, take me to the ground. Let's do this, big boy. Yeah. And be able to put him in a hold. That's what she's You know good. what I mean? And, and, and crush him type yeah. of thing. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of guys, good stuff. a lot of guys that are, do that kind of, are into that kind of shit. Yeah. They don't, they don't uh, expect it. Absolutely. You know? No, they're not thinking that they're going to get they're not mind. choked out yeah, or arm bar. Exactly. Or, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like break. I don't care. I'll tell my kids this. If, if you, if you give somebody their verbal warning. One they, warning. Yes. And they still. Feeling froggy? My kids know. You know what I mean? Right in the Daddy will handle the consequences. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I Both will my go. kids know that. Yeah, even in school, I'll go right mm-hmm. to the parents' house. I'll be like, listen, Same fuck you way. and your kid, bro. You yeah. know what I mean? I will, I'll take out your whole family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It'll be like that uh, that true detective show. Yeah. Right? Where he goes and yeah. knocks out the father. Knocks he's like, out come everybody. Come back with your mother next. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. The whole family going to get some. I'm telling you, dude. I know. I don't fuck around. I know. I hear okay? you. And if the parents are really nice, but the kid's an asshole, and that's the problem with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. The kids are assholes, but the parents think that they're angels. The thing is, it's, it, it, with it's, European, it's, it's entitlement. European, it's Asian. entitlement. If you want to talk yes. about the kids nowadays, they have that entitlement, and they feel like they can talk to whoever that, mm-hmm. like, like they think they're adults. No, you yeah, know, much, they don't. Much, you know, much. but you know what? European, Asian immigrants, <clears throat> yeah, usually think that their children are angels. But they're not. They're not. No, no. Uh, listen, no child. No kids, an angel. No. You know? You got to, I think you Unless they're gotta... pissing in bottles playing COD at home. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's then, crazy to then me. You're a different Why would you, if even as a parent, isn't that a form of abuse? Neglect. If you're going to let the kid play video games for hours on end. I break their shit. You ever see the dad that goes in the room and and breaks the the PlayStation? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, you know, like I, that's that would be me. Puts it outside with the lawnmower. Yeah, screaming. I'm not. I wouldn't let a kid play for six, seven, eight hours on end. No, that I think it's lazy two hours. I think yeah, it's lazy parents. It's lazy parents. They want to do their own thing. Listen, don't get me wrong. Sometimes kids are driving me crazy. I'm like, check out the iPad so I can mow the lawn. Or do mm-hmm. something, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then after I'm done, I'm like, all right, get off. Yeah. You know, Which is good. Got stuff to do. Make I'd rather kids go play outside. outside. Yeah. I'd rather go outside and play. Yeah. I'd rather them break an arm climbing a tree. Yeah. Than 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 getting blisters playing video games. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? I, now your kids riding bikes yet? Even better. My kid, he loves riding electric scooters. Has he wiped out yet? Oh, all the time. Has he wiped out bad? Yeah, my daughter wiped out bad. My daughter wiped out bad. <laughs> Tell me it doesn't break your heart. Yeah, it does a little bit. But my daughter has a scar on her, like, underneath her butt. Oh, uh, okay. Okay? Because my, my in-laws have, like, a hill. Yeah. And she was going really fast. Yep. I couldn't stop. And when Same she jumped off, she wasn't thinking about the inertia. The speed. So she, yeah. she landed and oh. slipped. And then when that, like, slid on her ass, it got, like, a like almost like a first-degree burn. Oh, it was, yeah. And yeah, it was, you see, like, a little discoloration. Yeah. Now. Yeah. We were, I was riding with my daughter, and we were going down a hill, and... She basically went over the handlebars and kind of just, Ooh. it was one of those. Well, got her teeth didn't hit the ground. I know. Yeah, no. But she was, I mean, road rashed. Her knee was real bad. And she was, I was carrying her and she was saying, Dad, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm like, it's not your fault. Yeah. It broke my heart. It yeah, was yeah. one of those things where if you got a daughter out there, man, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when my kids does something, like he, he stupidly wipes out. Yeah. I'm like, fuck boys, <laughs> boys, get the fuck out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stupid? Like, yeah. Yeah. Bro. yeah. 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 Well, girls are, I'm telling you. Nah, girls are. You know, it's, it's different. My, my daughter wears glasses. Oh, okay. So, so sometimes when she does, like, you know, as she walks and she hits her head. Yeah. I'm like, dude, what did we get you glasses for? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, so she's, she a little, wearing, she's a little clumsy. <laughs> That's okay. She That's takes coordination. It. That takes she time. She takes it. I hear, I hear sometimes, sometimes she takes it and she yeah. doesn't let you see. But I see it. I don't say nothing. Yeah. Also, she goes around the corner. Are you, are you clumsy or is your wife more clumsy? I don't know. I think lately my older age, I'm clumsy. Oh. Because, <laughs> hey, you know, I'm not paying attention. I got you. It's like, <laughs> yeah. You like, oh, That's the worst. Bitch. That's no, but my, my daughter though, she goes around the corner, yeah. and I hear her go, ah. <laughs> you know, so she hits her head, and I just laugh, man. I like it. That's funny. It's That's funny. I wiped out recently. I was setting up uh, goals in gym class, okay, and I, I tripped over the goal, and I just went head over, and then, and then I just I jumped up real fast. Does it do slow motion for you sometimes? It is slow motion. Right. I know how to fall. Like, when you up. fall, you're just like uh, you can't stop like, it. You know what's going There's, on. Yeah. You know, and you, but you it's can't a matrix stop it. moment. Yes. So all the time. you just kind of I roll. I stop, drop, and roll, and I get up, and I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> you do the. Ugh. Yeah. And I'm like, did anyone see me? Yeah. Right. You look around real quick. <laughs> and then like four people saw me. I was like, oh. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> I'll tell you a funny story. <laughs> at at our old house. Yeah. The the I had a light up on the on the roof. Mm-hmm. It's like thirty feet high, and I had one of those ladders 
the 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 it's the ladder where it's it, it op- it's like a it's like a oh yeah a, it's a it's a, a it's a it's an A-frame. And what is it called? Is it orange and silver? No, no, no. One no, of those. No, it was a big silver one. All right. Heavy as all hell. I never Ooh. should have bought this thing, right? Okay. So it's an A. It's it starts out like this, and yeah. the A-frames. That's and it. then you open it all the way. Yeah. And then the, the I have the same one. The two centers can split and go bigger. Yep. Okay. I have that. Right. It's huge and it's heavy yeah. like a mother. So. <laughs> I like to wear flip flops a lot, as you can see. Okay, all the time. is that right? Yeah, so, that. so I have I have the other flip flops though, the ones that are go between your toes. Oh, that's very okay. European. Yes. Okay. I wear those in the sauna. Okay, but well, here we are, right? <laughs> so I take this thing, I go up, and I do what I got to do. Mm-hmm. So everybody's outside. It's a nice summer day, right? And the bad thing is when you release it, the the weight of it. I mean, this fucking thing comes down hard. It's heavy. Yes. And the two the two center posts, oh my God. they hit the ground, and it's in the center. Yeah. So like an idiot, I, I stand right underneath it with my feet right underneath the last step. Oh, my God. Right? So I'm looking up, and I go, it's, I, it's I move coming it, down fast. and it goes, bro, it hit. It hit the top of my foot. Both of them. That had that had a feel like if they broke, you broke your feet. Bro, let me tell you something, right? There were so many people outside, neighbors, my wife, the kids, yeah. people walking their dogs. So yeah. what I did was I held it. I, you held the screen? I held the screen. I went inside my house, downstairs, because my garage opens up to the basement. It was a finished gotcha. basement. Wow. And, and I went and I laid down on the floor. Bro, I rolled side to side and was just screaming. Yeah. Wow. Did your feet break? I mean... No, no, it didn't break. Check this out. All right. so I was screaming so bad that my wife hears me. She comes You're inside. You're in agony. Yeah, she's upstairs, though, now, because now it's upstairs. It's, yeah. it's a stairs to go upstairs. Wow. So she comes, she opens the door, she goes, are you all right? And I'm like, oh, just leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> but wait leave me. me. That's not the first oh, time it God. happened. That happened more than it once. It happened twice. Shame on you. Shame, well, it Shame burned, on you. Bro. And it was only because I was talking to my wife. So even though I, you I don't want to blame her. Yeah, you have to blame her. Blame her. <laughs> She's the reason. The second time, though, yeah. I had to go to the hospital. Oh, oh, I had, I had oh, to go to the oh, ER because wow. it hit me so hard. Yeah. And it was only one foot that it hit, yeah. the full weight, not both. And it was black and blue. And I couldn't walk, dude. So I went to the That's ER. Bad. They checked it. They wrapped it. Luckily, nothing was broke. Did they check your oil too? They it should now, luckily. But um, <laughs> they uh, they, you know, they made sure everything was okay. And they gave me some medication, and I was wow. all right, man. But yeah, so that ladder I haven't seen in quite a while. And you still have that ladder? I do have it. I do have it. <laughs> and every time I pass, you want to do a ritual and, and destroy it? I don't think it can, bro. This thing is solid. <laughs> Just want to sell it to somebody. Yeah, you, you can put it on. I want to make like a gypsy move. There you go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Give it to somebody that I don't like. Oh, so they could get hurt. Yeah. That's a good idea. Like, oh, take so, that her. So who don't you like? I don't know. There's a lot of people, I guess. <laughs> I'd have to go through the list. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you're going to, what? Yeah. That was an Adam Sandler movie. Yeah, he had the, yeah, yeah. the list of people he was going to kill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought, who really needs who this? Who really ladder? needs Oh, this there you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's exactly. That's too fun. Mm-hmm. But that's it, man. So how, how do we get to the ladder from dating? I don't know. <laughs> We we started with dating and then we moved to you know. Listen, let's get into the uh, let's get into technology. It's scary, isn't it? Have you have you have you checked out the Chat GTP? I have not. Is it GT? No. Is yeah, it GPT? G- sorry. GPT? Yeah, yeah, yeah. GPT. G- yeah. GT Trans Am GT. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chat it, GPT. Chat, it should be yeah. just called Chat GT. Yeah, yeah. Now I've dabbled in. Okay. I have another YouTube channel, and I've mm-hmm. dabbled into uh, having it make me code for my website. Gotcha. Um, it makes me, um, you know, better, I guess, um, uh, titles for, for different things that I do, you know? Yeah. Um, you can ask me questions. It actually helped me make a, a video. I do video like techie stuff. Gotcha. And I had it. I was asking questions, and it made me the video. So then I took. Wait, how did how does it make you the video? So I took the <laughs> answers to the questions that I asked. Gotcha. And I I made a video. I put I put it in as subtitles. Gotcha. And then I had somebody read it. Oh wow! So you can use like this this company called V V io. You pay like thirty bucks, whatever a month, but it's awesome because you can make a video, you can set up subtitles, and, or, or, and then you put and it'll it, read it, and and you can have like a female voice, a man's voice. You oh, can wow. have like different different um yeah 
like an Irish person it's a, it's a voiceover that, it's a voiceover yeah which is awesome and it reads it and then I just I could just put like like layouts in the background oh wow like, like video images stuff like that Very so it'll cool. read it'll be really soothing I'll put some music into it yeah so it's pretty cool the one video got like I think 20,000 views oh, in wow. a matter of an hour which was cool you know? that is very and cool it, it keeps going I don't know what it has now um, <clears throat> but uh, you as a teacher yeah kids can use this so they can do basically reports. do all their work yes. through chat. And if you're an unknowing teacher that doesn't, mm -hmm. you're not techie or you just don't know about it yet, yeah. they can do a report, bro, and, and probably be like the best report ever. But you can tweak it with how you ask it to do your work. That's crazy. So you can ask it a question, right? Like say... Uh, so kids don't have to do schoolwork anymore. No, no, no. All right. Say like health class, right? Yeah. Say, say you want to know about the human heart. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you, they, you know, kids pick. And somebody picks, like I pick human heart. Mm -hmm. I want to, I got to explain to you in how an essay, in a, like a report, how a human heart works, what it does to the human body, yeah. yada, 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 right? Everything about a human heart. Mm -hmm. I can ask chat GPT about the human heart. Mm -hmm. Now, what this does is it'll look throughout, it, it's almost like Ultron. Wow. It'll look all over the internet and find all the answers that you need. So does it use Google or it has its own I think it has its research own, computer? I think it has its own research computer. Oh, wow. But it probably uses computers in the background, like yeah. the Google and the, you know, the stuff like Yahoo. How quickly does, is the turnover? It's pretty fun quick, for information. Pretty quick. I want to say if I ask it a question in like 10 seconds, I have a full answer already. Wow. It's wild. You know what I'm saying? And the funny thing is like it'll slow up a little bit when there's a lot of people using it. So you got you to gotta pick and choose your times and days now, out. Now it's free right now, chat? It's, it's, it's... Yeah, I, I signed up, man. Are, and, are and, they going to – is it going to be something that will be a paid thing you think? In adventure, the maybe. Or, yeah. or uh, I mean I've watched other like Joe Rogan and even mm -hmm. like Elon Musk talk about it and stuff. Yeah. And – a lot of people think that it's probably going to be the end all, which I kind of do believe it might be. It's scary. Because then, all right, remember remember when we were in school, we would literally have to do our own research. Yeah, and there was encyclopedias, yes, but we would the use library. that research, yeah. use our minds and formulate. Yeah. Yes. Right? There's no formulation anymore. No, there's no formulation anymore it's where these me. kids can just play a video game. While pissing in a bottle, yeah. while typing, the, and it'll yeah. automatically make so it. So it's basically turning the kids into zombies. Pretty much, man. Not even That's... zombies. It's just turning into people to have just no skills. Oh, no, they can't and, think and, for themselves. And, yeah. That's right? kind of like you're numb a little bit. Like it's right? good for, okay, you can get an A, <laughs> but you can tweak this thing. You can say, all right, you can say, you can say chat GTP, you know. The way you formulate your asking of the question, right? Yeah. So you would say, can you please explain to me how the human heart works for the human body? What uh -huh. does it do? Yada, yada. And then let's just wow. say if you don't want it to be very like Einstein about it, because mm -hmm. obviously you as a teacher you can water will water it, it down up. a little bit. Yes. Yeah. You can have it water it down. Wow. You could be like, and it'll give you the answer. And then you can re-ask it after reading. you would be like, oh, wow. that's a little too scientific. Re explain it to me like you were... A 15 year old oh wow and then it'll break it down for you bro wow. and 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 then you can turn it in and it'll that's look the, it's like the end of everything it'll look like a high school kid made it you that's get what i'm saying crazy. that's the yeah, that's the bad thing about yeah, that it. is bad because it's good but it's also bad it's it, we have all these tools to learn it and it's like but it's not even we're learning anymore because we have machines to do the job listen i gotta give a shout out to halls oh it's halls i don't know if they're medicated man <laughs> Those are they are all aren't they all medicated? I don't know, but I, I love I love these these halls, man. They make me, yeah, I feel like I feel like now that um this or ice cream. I'll yeah, take yeah, yeah. I feel like now that the trees are all blooming and whatnot. I know I have the same issue. The halls actually sinus. help me out with the sinus problems. You know? Yeah. But um I went to the ENT. He uh he did like a sinus procedure on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still crappy now. Yeah. Yeah. You can ask Chat GPT, how to correct it. How to correct my sinus issues. It'll issue. answer your questions, yeah. I mean, dude, you got to play with it. You got to get in. You got to play I with it. I try to play with it all the ask, time. You got to ask questions. Yeah. I mean, sooner or later, it's probably going to be able to play with you. But, right. I mean, you well, know, yeah, you can just do. I mean, it'll give you, like, you know how some people are backyard mechanics? They watch YouTube. Yeah. You could just ask Chat GPT how to do it. Like, if you're. So it's, like a, it's like a YouTube on steroids. Yes. But if you're not a coder, if you don't know how to make a code, like you want to make an app, gotcha. you can ask this thing to, mm -hmm. to design you a code for what you want. 
And then you can kind of have it break it down and to really make you the code. And, and you know, and, and then so you could start a business basically pretty much where, you, you know, you can have them set up a website mm -hmm. and, and tell you how to do it. And there's people that are doing it. You can watch YouTube, you know, YouTube and then, and then stuff. you're creating and now all of a sudden you're selling stuff from warehouses. So yes. you're just sitting on your ass generating money. Pretty much. Wow. Pretty much, man. I mean, you can have this thing design you something, you know? Yeah. And, and, or, or even if you're, you don't even need a lawyer. Mm -hmm. You could be like, hey, I want to divorce my wife. Can you set up, um, you know, ask it a question or, or, oh, wow. or let, let's say me and you start a business. Okay. Right. And all of a sudden we have to make a contract. Contract. I can have chat GPT draw up a contract. Draw up a contract. That's you know nice. what I mean? Yeah. Almost like a lawyer. Now, so I just it's, it's, I just didn't waste fifteen hundred dollars. That's true, but it's still I think you have to have uh, a lawyer. You know, necessarily because I can no. I can write on this on this Hall's piece of paper a contract mm -hmm. and you and me sign it. Yeah. And that technically is a contract. And that holds up. Holds that up, holds up uh, in court. Oh. Yeah. Wow. You know what I mean? Remember great. the napkin contracts? Yeah. Yeah. The mob used to same, do that all the time. Same thing, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's, whatever happened to an old good good old handshake? I don't know. You know, don't we're know. not. We're blood brothers, man. <laughs> Take my knife out, yes, right? <laughs> Nowadays, people don't do that. No, Nowadays, a guy no, takes no. out a knife and cuts himself. He's gonna be like, <laughs> you know. You ever see uh, what movie was that? Um, bachelor party with Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks. Yeah. He's trying to kill himself with the butter knife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Oregon. No, I know what you mean. That was, that was good funny. Movie, man, so donkey. getting back to AI, yeah. what about um, this whole virtual sex thing? Do you have a virtual goggles? No, I don't. No, Do I don't have an have Oculus. The Oculus kids don't all that have stuff? it. No. I'm not there yet. Can I say something? Not there yet. And this, this stems from having worn glasses. Mm -hmm. Prior to contacts, I wear glasses now, unfortunately. Okay, so I didn't get out of wearing glasses with getting contacts, or even okay. maybe if I got laser surgery, and then having to wear goggles to do shit in life. I don't even like going to three D movies. Yeah, I you know I remember back in the day I tried that; it was weird. Yeah, I, I bought a th a Sony three D TV one time or mm -hmm. a Samsung, and they gave you the three D goggles. Yeah, man, I tried watching that. I shit. couldn't watch it. You can't, man. It's like just fuck this shit. Yeah, I think I took the goggles off. To I need draw. to. I never had a, yeah, I never looked at them again. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Give me some four K. That's it, man. That's all you need, right? That's it. Um, but my buddy has the Oculus. And he was like, oh, it's so great. It's so good, blah, blah, blah. I was like, what's so good about it, man? You sit on your fucking couch and, and play some sword shit. What are you shit. doing? Yeah. I, feel I played like, Serena in tennis. Yeah, I feel like it's too <laughs> close to your eyes. Okay. And, and, and it, it might fuck up your brain, dude, eventually. Like, drive you crazy. Like, your eyes. We, we don't even know what it, what it could do. It's like Lawnmower Man. Yeah. Remember that shit? Yeah. Yeah. If you haven't yeah. seen Lawnmower Man, man, watch that movie. That's a good one. Crazy movie. But... So that I mean I, I don't like it I I, I don't like it I've never I don't tried my it, on it so I don't know no no I looked through it like in Best Buy and I was like it's not for me and then how are you gonna watch like well how are you gonna watch it with porn I don't know you're still like, gonna you're still gonna you're still beat gotta yourself, yourself up, off, right? right yeah you know what I'm saying unless they have a suit that you can wear they should make a flashlight well, suit a flashlight suit. suit or no. the real doll I think we talked or about the real that. doll yeah we should get we need a real doll but then at that point you don't need the Oculus you have no. the doll yeah and if the doll moves and stuff like that and does whatever robotic yeah they're making AI they're probably making an AI real doll but is it AI I heard a story. I think this is fake. It could be true. Who the hell knows, uh, man? Everything, it might be true. That's fake. Yeah. I heard a story that 29 people got killed by some AI doll in Japan or something like that. Really? And you didn't hear about this? No. They made like a, like, like a, not a doll, but they made like a robot and the robot killed like 29. Oh yeah. I, heard, I, I did hear about that. I don't know if that's that real wasn't or not. A, that wasn't a real doll. It was, it was a robot that went rogue. Okay. And when they tried to shut it down, yeah. it, 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 it booted up itself. Okay. But is that real? I don't Did know. That really happened. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Probably. If it really happened, <laughs> don't you think? Like, there'd be more news about it? Or did they hush it up really quick? Uh, you know what? There's a lot of hush up. Because a couple months ago, wasn't there aliens flying around? And all of a sudden they hushed that. Yeah, and now they're gone. Yeah, now they're gone. Yeah, now right? they're gone. It was like COVID and aliens. Yeah. I guess I guess the governments are just trying to do whatever they can to just they need to just be honest. Like, like at one at one point we're focused here, and then it's like boom, focused here, and then boom, focused here. Well, that's just it. Everything's happening here. And there's other stuff happening here. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So now it's 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 insane, man. So that's why I just I just live my life, man. Conform, you have to conform 
enough to society not to be bothered. It's true. You know what I mean? It's true. Like, you come break into my house, and, and I'm going to have to you bother get you. get shot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. go right into the fucking fire pit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not calling 911, you know what I'm Yeah, saying? no, no, no. And no. if your boy's out there, I got you know to get and, him, and too. The way inflation's going, there's going to be more crime. Yeah, there's going to be big-time crime. Hasn't Didn't so, Whole Foods just leave California? Mm -hmm. because of the, and then the motherfuckers had the nerve to tell Whole Foods, yeah. don't leave because then people can't steal healthy food. Yeah. Bro. If I was the boss of this company or the CEO, yeah, I tell Florida, I mean uh, California to go fuck themselves. Yeah, I'll never do business here again. Yeah, you know it's what I mean? crazy. It's it's gonna be. It's, but look at New York. I think it's gonna get worse. New York with all Before. the BLM protests and all that stuff and just protests. Mm -hmm. What was it? Fifth Avenue used to be booming with Gucci, Versace, all yeah. like the the. Now there's nothing there, bro. Yeah, oh, it's empty it's now. It's a ghost town, boarded up. Really? And I don't understand how people still want to live in New York. Yeah, no, I wouldn't want to live. You know what I mean? I never had the. If anything, I want to move more to the. I had you know, the urge country. back then when like Forty Second Street was popping. Never wanted to move there though. No, I always like going back to suburbia. Yeah, that's yeah, true. I grew that's up suburbia. Yeah, you go there to have fun. It's yeah, a playground. You go to have fun. It's a playground. Yeah, and then you come back. I'll tell you a funny story. Go ahead. We uh, Portuguese friend of mine and his cousin from Portugal comes mm -hmm. and uh, we take him out to the city. Where? And it was like four or five, five of us. We went first. We went to a Greek restaurant in okay. Astoria, Queens. Right? All right, nice. Uh, I think it's called Stamatis. Shout out to Stamatis if you're Greek and you go there. It's an awesome place. Um, so we go there, and when you go to a Greek restaurant, you're basically in Greece. Oh, okay, that's cool. So we were. I, I think I, I think I was like 20, 21 at that time. Nice, great right? age. But whatever. They they were giving <laughs> us fucking wine carafes. Oh, that's you know what a carafe is, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it's like a pitcher of wine. Yeah. Okay. And we must have had like thirty of them. Oh my god! Right. So you got shit faced. Yeah, but it didn't hit me right away. No, well, wine, wine and sangria are like that. Yes, but but wine gets me in a mood where I'm like a different person. Makes your wiener hard? No, it does. Okay. Right? It's like natural Viagra. All right. But I, it wasn't nothing horny that night. Okay. It, it, it gets me in a mood where it's like I was roofied. Oh, uh, have you ever tried roofie? No. I did. No. I'll tell you about that later. Okay. But, but all right, you can talk about it. I was roofied. Okay. Hear me, hear me out. So, so the wine does that to me. Yeah. I turn into a different person. Okay. And all of a sudden, like, I was. Good or bad? Good and bad. Okay. Not bad to the point where I'm doing like bad yeah. stuff. Yeah. But but we're a different person in a way where I don't care what what I do. You, okay. Well, all so, liquor does. Yeah. That. So no, but this is beyond. Sure. Like I was blackout beyond. So I take this kid. We all take this kid yeah. to the Forty Second Street peep shows. That's funny. We did that when we were eighteen. Okay. That's so funny. back then yeah. when the peep shows were out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we're at the peep show. So funny, right? Oh, it was awesome, bro. Yeah. We're like throwing money at these weirdos, man, yeah. and they're peep showing this. And kid. the girls are weirdos yeah. too. So we go to this one, and they wouldn't let him in. Why? I don't know because he, he was like fourteen. Oh. So we leave him so? outside. You leave the place. <laughs> and you go Not in. Speaking oh, Portuguese, my God. outside, right? That is terrible. And we're like, sit here. We're going inside to look at some porn videos. <laughs> yeah. Right back. So I don't know how long we were in this place, bro. Yeah, probably like it, it felt like 10 minutes, but it was probably like a half hour, hour four hours. <laughs> <laughs> so we go out, right? And yeah. we're standing there and we're, we totally forget about this kid. Oh, you're a dick. We walk the block <laughs> and we're like, we're like, dude, we're forgetting something. And we're like, oh shit, this is the kid. Oh but my mind God. Mind you, the cousin, mind you. the cousin, he had a broken leg. He was already passed out. We left him in the car in some dark alleyway. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so we got this kid. So all of a sudden, this kid's gone. Yeah. We don't know where he is. We're panicking. So you, you, you lost the non-English speaking We lost kid. this kid. So ironically, the corner drug dealer yeah. took this kid to the Port Authority Police. Stop it. Yeah. I, beyond, what a nice drug dealer. Right? Beyond, beyond, right? So that we Now the drug dealers are selling People fans. told us. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So we, okay. we, we, we go to the Port Authority, and I had to find this place. And then w right when I go to the Port Authority, it really starts hitting me. The liquor. The liquor, to the point where now I'm getting dizzy. Oh, uh, why don't do that? When you're talking to me, it starts turning into Charlie Brown nanny. Wah, 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 yes. wah. Right? And this lady's yelling at me, bro. They, first of all, they had the kid handcuffed to the bench. They had already called his Portuguese uncle and father. Okay. Oh my god. They're driving down to the city. Oh no. We're banging the car trying to wake up the cousin. He's yeah. he's knocked out. 
Oh, this night is is it? No, this night terrible. Nuts, man. It's, it's yeah, an abortion. It, it, it started out good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So, so luckily, I mean, it's a was, terrible story. Luckily, though, I get to go home and know that that happened. Yeah. Right? Unfortunately, for <laughs> my, my God, for my Portuguese friend, we didn't yeah. see him for a few months. I'm sure. Oh yeah, yeah. The, and and the father sorry, and I'm uncle. I'm the family didn't you know kick your ass. Well, the father and uncle on the way down. Yeah. I don't want to say they got arrested, but they got stopped. And 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 almost DUI because they were like drunk. they were drinking yeah, 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 yeah. crazy wow. stuff man yeah I never saw that kid again either uh, of yeah. course but it wasn't just me they probably it was like five back. of us I was like it was like hanging with the homeboys at that night yeah I hear you <laughs> that's so funny yeah but no New York was good man and then Giuliani cleaned it up yeah he did gentle mind he did he did a good job no he did a very good job you know. the club scene was great I think back in the day we you know it was it was we, great because you know what bothers me about back in the day compared to today god everybody got along i agree i think there was more unity like there was hate here and there yeah but it was more like stereotypical type of hate yeah like all right like you knew stereotypical type shit mm -hmm. today it's just like separated yeah like nobody's together right like like no. I, like like listen i might hang out with you mm -hmm. and i might turn around and be like oh this fucking jew guy or you might be like yeah. oh this dirty greek guy you know what yeah. i'm saying yeah. but for, but back in the day you could say that shit and, and, just, and no one would get offended i know right? i know no, well no, you can't it's like you can't you got to be politically correct now yeah, but all now, the time that's what I'm saying but now yeah. it's like it's like i just feel like it's not I feel like they're forcing us to not like one another. I think they bred it into the. It's been. It has been pushed into. Oh yeah, big time, big time, society, big time. Big time. Like, listen, I, per, if I, I don't give a fuck. All right, if you're, neither if do you're I. Cool with me? I'm cool with you. Yeah. I don't care what color, race, religion you are. Yeah, I hear you. Know you. What I mean, and, and I feel it, the same way. Right. I like learning about everybody's mm -hmm. culture. Culture. Yeah. The more you know. I think, listen, they say knowledge, knowledge is power. power. That's it. So the more knowledge you have, yep. the more in tune you are to different things, yep. which, is, which is perfect, man. But tell me about your story. So one night I went out and, you know, I thought I was told that it was Spanish Valium. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, what's wrong? What's wrong with Spanish Valium? I mean, it'll chill me out. I take this. Let me tell you. Spanish fly. Didn't they call it Spanish fly? It was, oh, I was told it was Spanish Valium. I thought they called it Spanish fly. Yeah, Spanish oh, fly, yeah. Spanish Valium. I take this pill. I'm drinking. All of a sudden, I mean, the night was a normal night, yeah. but past like 1130, I didn't, I, I was awake the whole time. People told me about the night. Yeah. I didn't remember. Thank God I didn't drive that night. Did it hit you like the Quaaludes from Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was driving my car all Smash yeah. It yeah, I was in the Lincoln Tunnel fucking hitting the wall, you know, doing fucking with it. Oh, no, man. I'm kidding. So but, what happened then? Uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> now, were you, I, were you big in the drugs back then? Uh, I'm going to say no. Yeah, okay. Okay. So That's fine. That's, that's understood. Yeah. <laughs> we all know that means yes. Okay. No, 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 no. But, uh... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Dude, shut the camera off. I'll tell you. I'll tell you a, I'll tell you a real story. I hear you. I'll tell Here you me. a real story. No. But I'll tell you. Back in the day, it was a very interesting time. Wide eyed. I was very wide eyed. Wide eyed, man. Wide pupiled, right, yeah. wide eyed. There you go. That's it. That's it. We we understand. Yeah. <laughs> we understand. But and anyway, we went to you know we would start at one club and okay. and then move on to other clubs. Yeah, yeah. By the time you got to the last you know? club, and then you're like, wait, why is the sun coming up? Exactly. What's going on? Come out like vampire. You would be a vampire. Actually, I remember everybody usually ended and, up in the yeah. South Factory. No. Yeah, that was the South Factory was after, like the limelight yes. tunnel. Yes. When that started to take off. You, you mellowed out more at the sound factory. You did. Right? You and, did. Then, and then you'd come out. It was and like, wild. <laughs> you'd come out of the light. Like, you come out of the factory at like 7 o'clock and you're like, yes. fuck. Yes. You're like, did I, <laughs> the, last, the sun is out. Did I have to go to work? I, I like to leave. At, when I was there, I would like to leave at like 5. Okay. You know, I wanted it to be dark because yeah. I wanted to be back in Jersey by 7, yeah. you know. But, I hear you. I hear you. But sometimes... <laughs> You lose time. You got to call the sister. Open you the door. Open, open the, the door. door. Open the door. Open the, open the garage. So you were like Ferris Bueller. <laughs> I was. I was. I pulled down the street, shut the yeah. lights off. See, I was an only child. Man. You know? I didn't have that uh, call. No, I had a co-pilot. Oh, yeah. See, luckily, the gar our garage door, I could pull it. And lift it. And oh, it was one of those. So, no, yeah, wasn't so, powered. So sometimes I would, I would, yeah. I would leave like a thing underneath it. 
and, yeah. just, and just roll underneath. Wow. And let it go and so, just crawl back in bed. Well, you you literally go. roll under the garage? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah. You wouldn't even, you'd open it like this. Because I wouldn't much. open it all the way. Because when you start wow. opening all the way, the springs start making noise. noise. Yeah. So yeah. you open it just, just enough, enough to get so it. So I had like a, um, yeah. that's what it was, man. It was like a stool, but it was like a weird stool. Like you could open it, like yeah. a tripod. So I used to put it underneath. To hold it up, yeah. crawl underneath, lift the garage, grab it, and then put it down, man. So yeah, it was it was good times. Wow, yeah, I, I remember sitting there in the in these clubs, and they would have like these Asian people that would dance on boxes. Okay, yeah, and they were so amazing. They were so amazing at dancing. Yeah, yeah. I was just like amazed by. They were probably just standing there moving their hips, man. No, you no, no. So, you were so plastic. No, I was, I was I was sober, but they, looked they like were. They were like... <laughs> The lights and the glow yeah, sticks. Yeah. And like the, your eye, exactly. Yeah, whoa, you know, like... man. No. <laughs> but it was, it, was, it was a lot of fun. We had yeah. a lot of fun back in the day. Yeah. yeah. That's when I met my wife. The first date we went on, like... like It was in a club? Yeah, she took me to Crowbar. Crowbar? Isn't that a gay club? No, 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 no. But but I remember... Uh... Were you wearing... Wait, were you wearing, like, a dog chain and... No, no, not right. at that time, man. <laughs> not at that time. Not at that time, man. I was over the DMX phase. Right. Uh, um, <laughs> But uh, I, mean, I remember she went and got us like drinks. She was like professional clubber at that point, right? Oh, uh, professional. Yeah, professional. And wow. uh, she went and got us some drinks. I guess she, she knew people. She she put, put a little. Oh, she, no, she was. She rubied you, bro. Yeah, no, luckily, luckily, I didn't get bad vibes from her. Oh, no, no, that's good. Yeah. That's so, good. um, but I remember I was standing there and I felt like wind on my face. Right, and all of a sudden I look, and I was I, I was near a dancer, and there's a dude yeah. just pelvic thrusting right at me. Right at you? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh, did, did, it, did he touch you with his no, thigh? No, but I felt sweat, man. Like hit me. Ah. In the, it was like wind and sweat, man. That's that's great. Ah, it's crazy. That's great. But um, but yeah, the the club scene was good, man. New York was good. Now here is just crazy. Now, do they still have? I mean, I'm sure there's clubs know, that are man. going. Like I don't even know. like people... when I when I when I retired. From that scene, yeah, Pasha became Pasha, yeah, became Pasha. the next spot. I did China Club and okay. on Monday nights and Cheetah Lounge on well, Wednesdays. Exit. Exit, exit, I remember exit, that. Yeah, yeah, West Side Highway. Yeah, wow, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, no, exit was nice, man. But uh, then you get the celebrities to come in and just fucking ruin everything. Yeah, you know what I mean? well, that was always like that. Yeah, I know. Palladium was like that. And, you fucking know. Drake coming there, man. Fucking go back to Canada, bro. You know, what I'm saying? you don't like Drake. You don't know, like his music? You like Lil Wayne? You know, listen, yeah, back in the day, I liked Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne his was brother, good. Little Wayne. Baby, whatever, Big Baby, whatever. Little Baby? Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, what's that other guy's name? Back that ass up. That was, oh, that, that was Juvenile. Juvenile, yeah. They were together <laughs> at one point, man. Yeah, they were, uh, yeah. Like no Wayne. limit, no limit. I like Lil Wayne because he's real. He, yeah, he's, he's real. real and he doesn't, he doesn't believe he's... all the bullshit that's going on. No, no. No. And he just, Stays high and that's and, it, man. That's it. He does his and thing. Lives his life. Yeah, he lives his yeah. life. Does his thing and fuck everybody else. Yeah, you that's like gotta be. Did you listen like Rick Ross a little bit or no? Yeah, here and there. He's man. newer, but you know, kind of newer. They were older, whatever you want to say. Yeah, man. Actually, I was listening to some uh, what uh, some one twelve on the way home today. Uh, only you. Yeah, I was, I was listening nice. only you and anywhere. Anywhere. That's a song I would yeah. sing on American Idol. No, that that would be funny, right? I would love to see who's that. Who's on there right now? Who's on? Who's one of the judges on American Idol? Well, it's not Paula. The not Paula. got Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Lionel Richie, who I love. Yeah, Lionel, Lionel Richie, Richie is one of my favorites. Listen, Katy Perry and a country dude. She kind of rubs me the wrong way, but I guess <laughs> I'd walk up to her just to win. Yeah, and, and I'd be like, "We can do it anyway." <laughs> You can love her in a shower. Yeah, I, yeah exactly. on top of a water bed. Exactly. I, I, yeah. Get out your right, grab her and stuff like that. <laughs> that would be funny. I, I, you, can I, sing, uh, you can sing a Lionel Richie song to her also. Escorting me out. Here. Yeah, oh yeah. You would be escorted yeah. out. Lionel Richie? What can I sing of him? Uh he had Hello. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean he had some good ones. I would start off with The Commodores. Oh well, no, no. I would start off with um Lionel Richie and then yeah. I'd go into Adele. Okay. I'd be like, hello. <laughs> you like, can do both hello. Can fall. <laughs> I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> was, you know what I'm saying? You can yeah, do that, that'd be hilarious. Oh. That's too funny. I should go on American Idol. I'd get famous just, just doing the, you know. You know what? The kids that are singing right now on there, yeah. they're pretty good. They are pretty good? They're yeah. really I'm talented. I'm watching all that shit. Man. You know what? I, I didn't watch it for years. Watch it, man. No. But I, last, I was it last night or two nights ago. I was scrolling through trying to find some baseball, and I saw American Idol, and I'm like, oh, wow. 
They had this big Hawaiian guy, and he, he's oh really sounded really good. And the guy that sings that and ukulele, ukulele song and the fucking Hawaiian that was water. a great song, but yeah. it, he looked like that guy. Where are you? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I know. Way up. <laughs> Oh man, I don't, dude, I don't watch anything. You know what I watch? I don't watch anything. Either, I watch bro. fucking Bluey. Who? Bluey. Bluey. You never saw Bluey, bro? Oh, what's Bluey? Bro, Bluey is like Bluey is a kid show, but you can relate with it with adults because of the parents. Oh, really? It's hilarious. See, I like the old stuff like Tom and Jerry and Fun, yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny. And... No, but Bluey's it's an, an Australian show. Oh, right. It's like it's, it's like not like the Wiggles. It's like a bunch it? of dogs. Okay, but uh, it's a really good show. Okay. And one time I, I like did a search for Bluey, bro. People were arguing. Yeah. Right? And this is what irks me about people. They were arguing if the the Bluey is yeah. a boy or a girl. Okay. And it's two it's two girls. Okay. Obviously they, they get little hints throughout the whole show, whatever. Yeah. So it's two girls and the parents. What they do is the parents have fun with the girls. They do like um, remember Muppet Babies? Yeah. So they do like adventures like that. Okay. Within the the show, so it's a kids show. With the kids, yeah, but yeah. it's a kids show, yeah. But but all I like right. it. it's really it's really good show. Oh, My daughter it's loves educational. It. I guess they just teach you how to be like nice to people. Oh, that's they good. They teach you how to use your imagination. That's cool. That type of stuff, man. See, when you say Bluey, I think of my balls. <laughs> Bluey. <laughs> They're bluey today. Well, listen, they got mom, they got dad, <laughs> right? They say it Australian way, and then they got uh, Bingo and mom, Bluey. Mom and yeah. Yeah. It's like, hey, hey, you know, it sounds like Blue Oyster Bar a little bit. That's just a little quicker. Pretty cool, man. I was to name my balls. I think I named them Bluey. Bluey, yeah. Yeah, Blueys. Because they're always blue. They are blue. They're so sad. Once you get married with kids, man, it's it's always blue, man. Yeah, it's just sad. Pornhub will be your friend. Pornhub is is make an account, trust me, and save favorite you ever. I'll be I'll be wearing my Oculus. Yeah, favorite, yeah, favorite the <laughs> Oculus, man. No, no. <laughs> no, I got two shake weights in my hand. We're gonna have to edit that out. <laughs> oh my god, oh, that's too funny. Shout out to Oculus. Send us a free one. We'll do a video. Yeah, we'll we'll do a, re- a review. And I'll do a free giveaway. There you go. If them say, anybody sends us product, we'll review it and do a free giveaway. We'll review it right on the show. Right on the show, man. Oculus. You know what I'm saying? I would That'd look up. Cool. I, listen, if if I had one, I would look we, up porn. We played. We 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 had Sony PlayStation. We did. You know, I mean, Sega but, Genesis. Sega Genesis. You still got mine in one of those boxes. Over oh there. wow! And Nintendo. Sixty four. You know? I I can't. Mario. I went to Greece one year, and something came over me where I thought somebody was going to bring in my house to take my Nintendo. I put it huh. in like I put it in like a chest, and I buried it in my backyard, my by my parents' house. Funny, I've never found it. I have a great story for you that I have to tell you offline. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but it has something to do with burying in the backyard. Listen, the camera's off. <laughs> yeah. sure it is. <laughs> I tried, everyone. <laughs> yeah, you're not opening this box. <laughs> Pandora. But yeah, it is Pandora. Well, it's it's just some, bad. some bad stuff in there. Let's see. What, what else we got? <laughs> you want to go back to virtual sex? Oh, do we even cover all of it? I don't know. I know in Japan, virtual sex is everywhere. Why? Japan is very, very digital sex. Weird. They sexualize digitally in Japan. Practice all that anime. I love anime. Don't get me wrong. I, I don't anime. like anime. I would rather watch anime than any of today's shows. I caught shows. my son watching anime. What do you mean you caught him? Well, he was like in his room, okay. and I went in there, okay. and I'm like, what the fuck are you watching? Yeah. And it was anime. Was, was he normal, or did he put it away? Was it hentai anime? It was, it was. Yeah, it was sexual anime, like weird stuff. Oh, sexual anime? Yeah. Is that what it's called? What is it called? Hentai. They call hentai? it hentai? Hentai. Yeah. It was hentai. Are you it was hentai. About that? Oh, bro. Did he have a sock on or something? No, I, he was getting ready to beat off, I think. <laughs> Why did you lock the door? I, you know what? The door wasn't locked. I have a the door is broke. The door is broken. So I opened the door and I'm like, he had the phone propped up. Like, oh, you know, man. you know what happens when we prop. I'm like, you're not. I go, you're not going to stroke it for that video, are you? And what he's, in, he's like, no, dad, no. Well, and I'm like, man. you're going to stroke it for that weird shit. Just beat off the Tom and Jerry. See, listen, I, I don't like watching sexual anime. No, no, no. If, no, if I need if I need to watch porn, 
You gotta watch porn. I have to see like the penetration. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need, like, yeah, I need I to see. Yeah, yeah. That's what... I can't just. You see sure some... you're not just watching the dude, right? No, 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 no. no. I, I gotta see all. You that need stuff, to see man. the Wang yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. No, well, the Wang has got to be there. The Wang's got to be there. The Wang's got to be part of it. Yeah, but, you just, you're not watching too much Wang. No, no. I've, right. I've never watched a porn where the girls never showed up. Let me. But I got, I got you. <laughs> I'm trying to watch the scene with the woman. And with okay. the, with the dude, yeah. he can have the wang in it, but I don't yeah. want to see yeah. too much of him. Like I don't care about let two lesbians. Yeah, like, no, no, not how guys care about. Yeah, them. how do you beat off for them? No, man. Listen, if you're in a threesome, it's you and two girls. Different. You're in the <laughs> nah. You're in the way. What do you mean? Listen, if it's if it's if it's bro. two girls that you pay, maybe you're you're there. No, you're not in the way, bro. Oh, don't listen, ever it depends. don't ever think that. Yeah, you're there. I've been there. You're part of the I'm party. I'm just saying. You're part of it. You're part of the party. I've been there for an extent. <laughs> For a little bit. Okay. Yeah. And then after that, you're and not then, then, well, then you, Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? You start, and then you leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what happens. You, you, it's like a roller coaster. You start, you hit yeah. the climax, and then you just... <laughs> it's like, what happened? Where am I? Mayday. 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 Yeah, that's what happens. I feel like Sully landing in the ocean. Sure. But yeah, you know, I, I, I would love to go to Japan. I, that would be a cool trip. I heard they're really racist in Japan, though. Like what they wouldn't like. Uh, they don't like foreigners. You? They don't like foreigners. Oh, really? Not like a black and white thing. It's just foreigners. I think yeah, Japanese. We don't look. We don't look Asian. I know we don't look Asian. Okay. Right. Um, the, the women might like us, but I don't think the men might not like us. But I, I Interesting. listen. I don't know what if it's true. Ever date an Asian girl? Um, not date. So you, so you had sex with her? Yes. That's cool. Multiple Asian women, but oh, okay. Saying, oh, so you have a thing for Asian? I don't discriminate. Yeah, that's that's what I, listen, I, there's nothing wrong with the sushi roll. My father had a friend one time, right? Yeah, I used to call him Old Man Billy. Okay. And he used to smoke Benson and Hedges. <laughs> oh, all right? that's a great this cigarette. The fucker kept them in business. The brown right? Hedges, yeah. the brown so, cigarettes? The kind of guy where he would smoke a cigarette, right? And he'd like suck it. He'd like, he would let it go and it'd suck it. You know what I'm talking uh, about? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Hey, he, was a, he was a cool cat. Yeah, cool cat, he right? Was a cool right? Cat. And then uh, he looked at me one time. And he knew. He knew I was a little ho-ho, right? Yeah. And he looks at me one time and he goes... The best advice I can give you? Yeah. Fuck them all. Yeah. That's what he said. It's good advice. Fuck them all. He gave you good advice. Dude, I don't discriminate. No. You Short, shouldn't. fat, skinny, tall. No, you shouldn't discriminate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody has their own uh-huh. thing. Sex is like pizza. Even when it's cold, it's good. You get, listen, if, if you should never turn it down. No. It's rarely turn it down. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you'd have to be really like. I would be really just. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you got to be yeah. every day not to want it. Yeah, you got to be, and, or you know, if real bitchy girls. Yeah, that, you know. Yeah, don't turn a guy off with your personality. Yeah, you know. I think I mean? nowadays women, it's why they. I think they think they're in control, but I. I don't know. I, I don't think, you know, I, I. I. Women, they don't have power over me, like mentally anymore. No, just look if, at her below. Listen, I, what know? sport do you play? I'll fucking throw a wig on. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it better. I will I'm perform sorry. better than you. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm sorry, you know. Yeah. You saw the woman? Uh, was it the MMA fighter? Oh, that beat the shit, and beat broke the... like the fucking skull. You saw that? Oh, come on, man. How are you gonna allow that? It's crazy. How are you gonna? How are you? Listen, don't get me wrong. Part of me is like, like, yeah, but can, uh, can you press charges? Because like... did you hear her? Our, you did press you press hear his her voice? Agree to it. Did you hear his voice? Yeah, I did. It was deeper. It was. It was it was deeper than this. But I, I, <laughs> listen, I don't think you can press charges if you agree to the fight, knowing that it's a man. Yeah, you know what I mean. Where do we draw the line? Listen, there there is no line that should be drawn. It should just, just shouldn't happen. But we got these fucking people out there that just want it to happen, and it's yeah. like, why? I don't think. I think if a a man wants to be a woman, he still shouldn't be allowed to fight. I'm sorry, because I don't think a woman is gonna, that wants to be a man is going to get in the ring with Israel at the side. No, no, no. I mean, listen, if I had to defend myself against a woman, if I had to defend myself, like coming at me with a knife. Oh, that's different. A gun or something like that. JB, you know, that's totally yeah, different. Yeah, you know, catch the elbow. <laughs> but, what, what, but, you know, I'm not just going to, yeah, I hear <laughs> half Nelson. <laughs> But um, triangle joke, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, that's it, brother. Spider, I call it the spider monkey, look. yeah. You know what I'm saying? You get the, yeah. the choke and then the wrap, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pull them um, back, yeah, exactly. Triangle choke, but um, that's it. Good night. I mean, you know, I wouldn't, uh, I listen, I joke around, 
Yeah. I, I, I talk shit online and I joke around. Like there was, there was you one gotta guy. You got to be careful. There's crazy people. Well, there was one guy that went to Thailand and he was fighting Muay Thai chicks. Mu- uh, oh. Right? And okay. the chick was messing him up. Uh-huh. But, you know, the guy was caught her pretty good a few times. And then yeah. obviously she went down and she was kind of dazed and confused. And, okay, and well, that, that goes still a saying, guy. You know what still I'm saying? A guy. You might not have skills. Yeah. Like, let me put it this way. And I, I try to tell this to a lot of females that, that mm-hmm. bark really big. And I tell yeah. them, listen, say, you can't, you don't think you're katana. Because gotcha. that chick had 5,000 years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To yep. learn what she learned to be able to take out a dude. Yeah. Okay. And nothing against women. I'm sure there's uh-huh. women out there that can probably take out a guy in some way, Absolutely. shape, or form. Okay. But it's. She didn't come to It'll be, yeah, it's very difficult. Let me mm-hmm. put it that way. Yeah. It's very difficult. So having a, a man, you know, being any type of woman's sports, yeah. personally, I don't like it. I don't like it either. It happened in wrestling. It yeah. happened in, in fighting. Yeah. Um, well, I know there's I know girls that wrestle in, in 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 boys. Yeah. You know. Oh yeah. I, that, yeah, but I, you know what? At the higher levels, you don't see women competing against the men. Higher levels, no. Obviously. Lower levels, yes. Obviously, you're not going to be in the Olympics. I've have, coached have girls that wrestle boys. Okay. You know, and I'm fine with that up until a certain age. Mm. Once the uh, the testosterone. What's age? Sixteen. No, I would. Yeah, I mean, they could go even, even like if 12. they're an elite athlete and they can do it at yeah. sixteen. Oh, then do it. But no, no, I'm, I'm saying uh, when, at what age 13, do you, do you 13, stop a girl from f- 13, fighting with 14, a boy? 14, 15, in that range. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think so because the women are more developed. Yeah, the men already have testosterone. The boys okay. have more test. Yeah, and the strength. There's a difference. Well, especially there's especially just, with boys that are in sports. They're yeah. more physical. Their muscles are being used a lot more. Absolutely. So they're building as they're growing. You get what I'm saying? Like my son. And they're just stronger. Like I, I wrestle with my son. Yeah. And, and I tell him sometimes, I listen, uh-huh. don't be afraid to to do karate on me. Yeah. I understand sensei says don't do it. Yeah. But I'm daddy. Do it to me. Yeah. I want to see what you made of and what you got. All right. And bro, sometimes this kid, man, he, he'll sidestep me. Yeah. Where he'll fake me out. And he'll catch me with a good hook. Uh, on the face? Oh, dude. Oh, Listen, I'm usually quick enough to see it coming. And yeah. I either block it or just move out of the way. Yeah. He caught but, you? But one day, bro, he yeah. caught me, man. And I thought he knocked out a tooth. Really? Yo, yeah. He hit me pretty good, bro. And I was like, I was like, oh. I was even like, time out, time out. You yeah. know what I mean? And he was like, and then, then I heard him giggle. He was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> my son, my son wrote on a post that he goes, yeah. uh, in 2024, I will take down. My father for a hundred dollars. Okay. So this right coming year, talk, I'm gonna be. Yeah. We'll do a live show. We uh, <laughs> KY Jelly and all. I, bro, I Jello wrestled in high school. I did. Oh, my boy Blue. Funny. My boy. <laughs> I'm not dying though. Yeah. Told me not. <laughs> I have a stroke right that now. Was, that was a, yeah, that'd be crazy. You know um, we should do a Jello wrestling here, bro. Not with us. I'm saying not with chicks. Yeah, that's I'm down. I'm, I'm down. That's good. I can get. I, I think I can get some. Maybe women. when we get bigger. Yeah. yeah. Well, we don't got to worry about getting canceled. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll do a live. I want to be blue. Oh, there you go, man. I'll wear a wig and everything. Uh, you got to get Will Ferrell over here. <laughs> like free, motherfucker. Yes, yeah, that's funny. But, um, I love Will Ferrell. No, I do too. I do too. He's fucking great. We got to get Will Ferrell and the drummer from. Um, and and the lead singer that does all the weddings. <laughs> yes, no, but who's the drummer that Will Ferrell looks like? From what band is that? I forgot. No, it's not Def Leppard. Is it Def Leppard? I don't know. No, because Def Leppard guy got one arm. Yeah, the... <laughs> he crashed the Porsche. You're right, he did. He had his arm he out. Did. Yeah, and he crashed. Wow. Yeah. You're right. He still was a drummer. He bro. He... <laughs> yeah, yeah, with one hand. That was some anime type shit. That was amazing. That was like. Yeah, man, that's skill. That is skill. That's that was skill. the '80s bands, bro. People probably don't know that. A lot of people that are watching the show, You're right? They probably don't know that. No, definitely not. No. Definitely no. not. One-handed drummer, man. I know. It's crazy, right? He used to fling that shit in the air and catch he did. it. He did. Right? Oh, and man. he didn't miss a beat. No. Wow. Drumline. That guy could have been in Drumline, <laughs> right? With Nick, Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon, I got you. <laughs> Nick Cannon. He has like how many kids does he have? I don't know, bro. If you were single, would you want to have a lot of children? If money was not, if, money if technically was wouldn't be an option. Money. money technically wouldn't be an option yeah. because the government takes care of them. Absolutely, yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? That's true. That's the way they make it now. So, if you were to do it all over again, would you have kids younger? Probably younger. I probably have more kids, maybe in my like uh, late late twenties, early thirties. Yeah, I started because now 30s. they would be older. 
Yeah, they'd be adults now. Yeah, and then I could do what I want. Yeah. And we can both go to a club. Yeah, I mean? right? I Imagine could wingman that. my son. Yeah. But like, oh, not that guy. Yeah. What do you mean, <laughs> Adam's apple? I'm all, I'm, my, my son's close. He's yeah. He's almost ready. He's 16. Okay. He's almost ready for the, uh, yeah. the 18 and over. Wow. Juice yeah. bar. It's fine. I'll bring a bottle of whiskey with we me. We can take there. him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> right? It's a good place. Yeah. <laughs> You can take him to the peep shop. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Get in there. But uh That's funny. Man. Nah, yeah. If I had kids, if I had kids uh younger. Mm-hmm. Um but I I say that now, yeah. but my own hindsight is the old. only saving grace, not having kids younger, mm-hmm. I was able to experience life. Gotcha. To the to the fullest. One hundred percent I able to go out and do what I want to do. Uh-huh. You get cars. You live. You live. Yeah, I live. You know what I mean? I know friends yeah. that had kids younger age and they were uh, locked down. Yeah, pretty much. That was kind of the not almost the end of their life, but they really, you know, if they didn't parents, have the same fun you had. No, they didn't. They yeah. didn't, you know. And uh now they're having fun in their older age. Yeah, but because the kids now with the way the world's going today, is it really fun anymore? Is it fun you? anymore? I was just I was just talking to someone about this. You get fucking mugged in the elevator. It's crazy. You ever do anything weird in the elevator? Oh yeah. Sex in an elevator? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I made sure there was no cameras. Like yeah. I think there was a camera. <laughs> I didn't see myself on yeah. I didn't see any anything. YouTube, man. So. But, uh, Nowadays, everyone's got a camera. Could you imagine what we did back in the day and we had cameras? Listen, Big Brother is watching. Is all around us, man. It's terrible. You can't do anything anymore no. without being... Uh, like, I watch sometimes in the neighborhood <clears throat> if something happens. Yeah, you can literally see frame ring. by frame the ring doorbells. See, that's crazy. And I don't have a ring doorbell. Neither do I. I you know, I, I had a. I have guns. I had a nest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, I'd rather be surprised. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's the way I like it. You know why I want to be surprised? Because <laughs> what if I get raided by the cops? Yeah, and then it's, that's not fun. It comes down to uh, the Alamo in here. Oh my God. They're, they can, they can. You probably, gotta surrender. Yeah, but no. Well, eventually I will. <laughs> but I'll probably take out at least. I, I'd probably John Wick a few. Okay. John Wick was. Those were good movies. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> All right? But um, could you, if 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 I don't want to say if somebody broke in a house because in, in New Jersey, unfortunately, the criminals have the authority. They're doing it in this area. In these areas. Yeah. There's but, been a lot of cars being exactly started. right. Uh, but what I'm saying is, mm-hmm. if somebody were to break in my house. Yeah. And I have the the camera on the doorbell. Yeah. And it literally sees them. And it gave me a warning. Yeah. And they broke in and I shot them anyway. Could I would I be would I be in trouble because I, so I this is the saw law. them? This is the law. They have to well, be I, I know what the law is. Yeah. They yeah. Have to be, yeah. They, they have, have to, to be. you have to come you at have you. To, you gotta shoot them in the chest. Yeah, you can't shoot them in the back. You can't shoot them in the back, yeah. And you have to try to avoid them. Yeah. So you have to go I have to lock myself in a room, say I got a gun. Yeah. I will shoot you if you start knocking. See, there you go. You yeah, know the rules. I know all the rules. You know the I rules. I know all the rules. But yeah. once you step into my realm. You're getting shot. Yeah. I'm <laughs> saying. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. But I you, didn't even shoot you. It depends. It depends. You on, go, you're going hand-to-hand combat? It depends on the mood I'm in. Oh. I, I might become a ninja. You have Chinese stars? Oh, I got all that shit. Bro. Oh, I used I to love swords. it. I used to collect that stuff. There's a, there's there an was anime. a place. Go ahead. There's an anime that I watched. It's yeah. called Bleach. Okay. I'm sure people watch it. And mm-hmm. the main character uh, has a sword probably as big as his cutouts. Well, wow. I have that sword. I love it. Oh, wow. I have it. Okay. I have an ninja sword. So imagine whipping that out. That's a big, that's a big, seeing somebody. that's a knife. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but what if, uh, what if I knock the guy out and I, I set him up properly? I just you know well, I propped, like propped him up. We prop him down here. <laughs> He's on the we'll show. set him up for the yeah. show. <laughs> That would be great. What I would do- I would dog collar him with uh, the zapper. I have one of those at home. Like, Whose house did you break in? I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> see, that, I, that would fuck around, man. I have a I have a taser. Did you ever see that? Oh, so do I. Did you ever see? Oh, I don't think we're allowed to have those. In oh no, I don't have a taser. I have to edit that out. Edit that. Yeah, we don't yeah, got tasers. Yeah, yeah, so what are you talking about, bro? We're joking. <laughs> oh, be <laughs> sure. <laughs> but um, did you ever see that movie? Last house on the left. Who was in that? Um, I can't quite remember, but it was. I think they were either renting the house 
It was the house before the house. Okay. So they were renting a house until the house was being built. Gotcha. Like a doctor and his family. Yeah. And uh, these weirdos came, like hillbillies, whatever, out of the woodworks. Mm -hmm. And they kind of like molested the daughter. Oh, my God. Go and uh, she got away from them. Okay. And then they got into the house. And yeah. they, were like, they were like, they had everybody tied up. They were like fucking around with everybody. Wow. Somehow, the father got out of it. Okay. Well, lo and behold, the people get out of the situation. Of course. And at the end of the situation, the what the, does the father the, do? The father had the microwave yeah. open, and then the guy he he kind of gave him medication that that he didn't feel nothing in his body, only his face, okay. and he had the guy's head in the microwave, and he really? was like he was like turning it on. <laughs> <laughs> so he cooked the dude. He cooked the dude. Wow. Like, yeah, man. Wow. That's but nice. Like, but like, wouldn't you do that? Uh yeah. If if anybody touched my children, that's what I'm saying, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Like that's that's. I'm all about eye for an eye. Like I, I would turn into like I'm a normal guy, whatever. But yeah. I would turn into like a sicko, Total like sicko. Rob Zombie movie kind yeah. of shit. You know yeah. what I mean? And Slow so, death. Yeah. Slow death. You ever like, see people Liam under the steps? Yes. The, oh, that was the best movie. Yeah. Man. The guy was with a leather suit. He was like yeah. grabbing his junk. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> yeah. So weird. Very weird. Very man. weird. Yeah. yeah. So that was wow. a good movie, man. Yeah. Liam Nielsen movie when he gets his kids taken away. Taken. Yeah. Taken. Taken was good. That was good. My father in law was watching the original one back in the day. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, well, not back in the day. <laughs> Recently. Yeah. He did well, He did multiple ones. Multiple ones. But after, after yeah. the first one, how many times is your family going to get taken? Listen, every now and then. Listen. Getting catfished. <laughs> How, do you, how does it happen again? How does it happen again? You well, know? I guess the first time. He didn't time, learn from his first time. No, I think the first time he went after the, the I think it was the Albanian mafia. And then word got around and they, mm -hmm. they went after him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I guess they didn't listen to the recording. No, they didn't. I have a certain set of skills. <laughs> <laughs> if only they listened to the recording. If, yeah, they have to listen. You know what would be cool? Wow. They got to do, what if John Wick went after Liam Nielsen for taking oh, shit. Or even better. See that now we're putting up like, like, like uh, guys that fight against each other who yeah. would win. But even better, <laughs> what if James Bond? Which one? The Daniel Craig one, I guess. Okay. Okay. Or whoever's new. Now, who's the new one? I don't know. Whoever it is. I thought it was Daniel Craig. No, I think it's that one There's kid that played in that now? one movie, The Kingsman, the original one, the kid. Oh, I think okay. He's gonna be the oh, new okay. One. But anyway, but what if James Bond? Mm -hmm. Gets contracted to go after Jason Bourne. Interesting. Bond versus Bourne. Yeah, that would be a sick. I think Bond wins. How though? Uh, he's, and he's gonna bang your girl. <laughs> but I don't. I think that would be a good movie. Yeah, I think so. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, so you're saying you want to take two killers and create a, a movie where they're and they're against each other? That would be a sick movie. That would be interesting. Tell me that wouldn't be a sick movie. That would be interesting. Bond versus Bourne. Yeah. You know what I mean? Interesting. You can't really do John Wick with anybody because no. he's more of an assassin. He is an assassin. Like, yeah, you know, type of thing. But you gotta do you gotta do somebody that's like like Jason Bourne pretty much was a was a trained killer. Yeah. But he, he went the high road. Mm -hmm. He didn't actually end up doing it. I maybe he killed the one guy, but um after the fact. You know what I mean? Yes. And and they're still after him, Langley. Yeah. But they can't send nobody for him, so they gotta contract Bob. Yeah. Ah, oh, how awesome would that, that would be! That would be interesting. Yeah, that would be interesting. It would be interesting because it would be cool hand to hand combat, and then it would be cool special like explosions and shit, yeah. and then gadgets. You know, I like the the karate movies too. I think which ones? You know, well, any of the old Bruce Lee movies, Enter the Dragon. Okay, yeah, Bruce Lee. Movies, you know, yeah, everybody. Uh, and Saturday, did you watch Kung Fu Theater? No. Okay. So I, yeah. So you were I'm going back it? to when I was a kid. Okay. And every Saturday they had. Oh no. Well, back in the day, yeah. But I thought you meant this past Saturday. No, had... no, no, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. When we were when I was young. Okay. And every Saturday there was kung fu theater on, and it was all like they didn't speak any English. It was all dubbed and stuff. <laughs> okay. But the fighting was it was incredible. Yeah. I love the fight scenes. Oh yeah. No, I love how they talk. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like. Sleep. Yeah. I will kill you. <laughs> Uh, you know, that, that, that yeah. was awesome. That was that was <laughs> thirty six. The best chambers, part of it, the Wu Tang one. Yeah, um, that was the best part of it. Yeah, I remember the uh, the ones I used to watch. I watched I, I watched ones back in the day where the one guy he went to this master's house and the mm -hmm. master hooked him up to these trees and he pulled the guy's like legs apart. Ah, okay. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, now, well, was I was thinking, movie. man, there. Yeah. But I know, I know, I know. Well, it was a different movie. Yeah. And it was a really good movie, man. Well, that's how they trained them back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd, they'd kneel on rice. When I was younger, I tried setting that up myself. Yeah, and, well, for and, your legs? Yeah, I, I went to home, not Home Depot. There was like, you had uh, two pulleys and you... I had pulleys, yeah, and I put yeah. it around like, the, my bedposts. Yeah. And I was trying to like... Oh, you should do that to the wife. Or do that to your wife. Yeah, no, but now I want to buy that thing that they sell on Amazon where you put your legs in it, you twist it. And it, it Back in the day, they, yeah, they had they one of those. It. They still have it. It was a Russian still, yeah, yeah, yeah. split thing. Split thing, yeah, they still have yeah. it. I mean, it used to be I had a Polish of, friend. Now people use I had a Polish it. friend. He was in his basement. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and, and weird. <laughs> but we would take turns doing it. I mean, you know, <laughs> nothing weird happened. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, you're in mother country. They used to kill people with that. <laughs> now you use for stretch. <laughs> that was good. You have a good Polish accent. No oh, shit. Oh, wow, I like it. I oh, like it. Man. That's funny. That's but uh, yeah, I guess we hit up on all topics. We did. All right. I'm still about that uh, going to Japan. You really want to go to Japan? I'd like to go to Japan. Is it for the women or is it for <laughs> the women, man? I like the Japanese the... culture. Culture? I love Japanese karate. culture and I'm into swords. I, I yeah. collect swords. I used to collect swords. Okay, no, I collect like real I, have like, I, have I only like, have like a few. Oh, I have like I have a couple that are, that are like thousands of dollars. Oh, you're serious? Oh, with yeah, 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 yeah. They, oh, like, like I, 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 I take them apart and shit. I clean them. So you have the you collect stars too? Stainless no, steel. No, I mean that was like a kid thing. I used to chuck them and stuff like that. But yeah. uh, the sword, sword fighting, I, I like I'm into that a, a lot. Gotcha. You know, interesting. And um, I really like like. Did you ever learn how to fight with swords? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. okay, that's really cool. Um, but I like. I don't want to say it because it's not really medieval, but uh, yeah, there's you listen, people like guns, right? Don't worry, you have to have them at some point in life, absolutely. Okay? Yeah, but um, swords are cool. I'd rather a sword, yeah, swords like, are cool. this way. If shit really hits the fan, unless you can make your own bullets and find gunpowder to do so, I got you, okay, okay. If you just stay in your house for a couple weeks until all the so bullets, you're gonna be a, a shinobi, right. <laughs> I want to be like, like I want to be. You're the, gonna the, walk around I with this be white Michonne. Yeah. Long day, right, coming what out. would be your name? What would be your? Uh, I don't like your name. Know. You'd have to have like a. You'd have to have a name, right? Like a name. Like, she's like Sh- 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 Shogun. <laughs> Shogun of Harlem. I guess it's in Greek. And you could be uh, Bruce Leroy. They call me the Olympic Shinobi. <laughs> <laughs> The white shinobi. So, yeah, well, yeah, right? Yeah, right? You never know. No, if the shit hits the fan, I guess a sword is, you know. Eventually. You really think uh, the, you really think it's going to shit, like, the world's going to go into a no, was, man. shit zone? Man. I, I, know, I, I feel like America is going, this is going to go soon. Yeah. All, civil, all major civilizations that were well, once great end up, end up going downhill from within. Every empire collapsed. That's what I'm saying. And it's always from within. Yes. All right. Absolutely. Like the Romans, that pretty much was from within. Uh huh. And then other people. Germany was yeah, from within. Yeah. Germany was. You from know, within. they spread themselves too thin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and now the great, the great USA. Well, is... uh, Germany. What? What? Are you talking about one or two? Well, two when they tried to take over the world. So two. And they spread themselves two. thin. Yeah, yes. yeah. Now, now, if you want to get technical. The main German mistake mm-hmm. was was getting J- J- Japan involved. And then they bombed the USA. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that was their first mistake. Yeah. And then once the USA got involved, yeah, and we're they like, brought in the brain power to yep. kill the ball bearing plants and yada yada. Yeah. Then obviously shit hit the fan for them. It did. You know what I mean? And then they couldn't it do did. shit after that. How how long is the flight to Japan? I don't know which way we'd go. Since we're on the yeah, east, that's what I'm saying. Like, we fly over we go Europe, across, across or, California that yeah, way, well, that's or, what I'm saying. or would I have to go? I, I don't know if I'd have to go from New York across the USA to Japan, yeah, or if I'd have to go from New York, um, go to California or some state close to there and then and then go to Japan, no. or if you just fly from New York straight over Europe to Japan. Now, you were saying you don't think that they would like us over there. I'm not saying they won't like us, okay, I'm not saying that. But uh, like if we went there looking just like this, a lot, of, a lot of videos, TikToks, and certain things. Yeah. Where where even if me and you went to Japan uh-huh. and we spoke fluent Japanese, that'd and be we're cool. All, they have nowadays we can just talk into something. And that's, that's what I'm saying. But I think they have cross. they have like restaurants and bars where it's Japanese only. Really? Yeah. Like they have foreign places that would allow you to go there. 
And then they have Japanese only. Like, don't come in there if you're not Japanese. Oh, wow. Eat. That Listen, I don't know if that's true. That's racist. That's just little videos that I've been seeing here and there coming yeah. up on TikTok and YouTube and just people telling me that's been there. Wow. You know? That's a little, you know. Yeah. That's not fair. Uh, people complain about the I USA. What if I want to eat sushi at that joint right there? I guess they don't let you. Oh, wow. I guess you're too, uh, too white guy for them. You don't like sushi, do you? No. It's crazy. No. It's so good. You're missing out. Well, what about no raw, fish? raw fish? Yeah. I guess the only time I would have eat... You ever, have, have, you, have you ever been taken out for raw fish? I've been taken out for raw fish. All right. Yeah, I've tasted it before. Oh, you just don't like Sushimi it. Sushimi and all that. So, yeah. But I just don't like it. It doesn't, right. it doesn't hit my palate. All right. You know? Grill yeah. me up a, a fucking juicy burger or, yeah. or like a T-bone steak or something. Well, man. that's some good stuff, too. Some skirt steak. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, I love Just skirt right. Steak. Oh, man. Skirt steak it's is like... good. Fava <laughs> <laughs> so, beans. So you go. <laughs> you go to a steakhouse. What's your go-to steak? Like when I used to go to Longhorns. Okay. I would get their uh, their prime rib. All right. Now have you gone? T-bone. Have you gone to like a New York, like a New York steakhouse? Somewhere in New York. In New York. No, okay. but what I want? Well, no, no. I, I've been to I've been to New York steakhouse. Keens, before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've, been to, I've been to steakhouse before. Okay. Right. But it was like for parties and stuff. So okay. Like I didn't go out of my way to All do right. there, right? Um, but. What I want to do is, uh, mm-hmm. I saw a video a while back, and there was this, um, I think it's a hotel with a restaurant there, and they would whiskey wrap and dry the steak. Oh, wow. Okay. And I think age it? Like, let it like, sit? Yeah, like aged steak. Yeah, I got right? you. Okay. That's what I want to eat. That sounds good. Oh, uh, dude, they were grilling yeah. it up, man. Yeah. I got to find that video. There's nothing like a good steak. I know. You know? I know. But, you know, I, I just don't know. Is, is meat good for you at times? Is it bad for you? Should you eat it in moderation? I think more, I think it's a moderation thing. Yeah. I'm not going to sit here and just eat a plant-based diet. Just not. And if you think about it primitively, all they did was eat meat. They eat they eat meat and they eat the vegetables. Yeah. And that was it. Well, the protein makes you jack. You know? Yeah. We need, you, know what you I mean? cannot survive on anything except protein. Pretty much. Like, if you just eat carbs, you won't live. You need protein to live. Well, as a fitness so, guy. Yeah. If you don't eat a lot of meat. But you eat like uh, you peanut butter, supplement. peanut butter, jelly sandwiches. Not enough, not enough yeah. protein. Yeah, not protein. You need so like beans and lentils. And... So I can't do that Captain America diet, whatever he was yeah, doing. Yeah, no, no. Tofu. Tofu <laughs> Like if I if I were to follow an actor's diet, I think Ryan Reynolds, man. Oh, when he did the Deadpool's. Uh, not Deadpool's. I think when he did Blade. Oh, okay. He was eating. He was eating some type of powder. Powdery substance was it like uh, whey protein? It wasn't like a protein. It was, I think it was lentils, crushed lentils. Oh, okay, or something like that. It's like a powdery yeah. substance. Yeah, I got to find a out. Lot of, a lot of them fast. They they fast there because they wanted it to be as lean yeah, as possible. That's what I need, man. I, I say I'm gonna be lean. Just stop eating. Yeah, stop eating. I can't, though, man. Just start eat your first meal at like two, three o'clock in the afternoon. Eat one meal a day. Well, I just what I try to do. I try little, to do, oh, I try to do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that's it. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. You but. Know what I mean? Cut up breakfast one day. See how you feel. I could do that. That's right. I have coffee. Just black coffee. It's got to be black. It's got like nothing black. in it. Nothing in it. No, like milk and sugar or anything. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it has to be black. <laughs> could you do it? Yes, I just don't like the taste of it. Yeah, I don't need to do I. But, yeah. but um, the mental clarity I feel when I fast yeah. is unbelievable. Okay. The energy is. Yeah. Takes me somewhere. How long do you fast? Sixteen hours, eighteen hours, full day. Minimum sixteen. Maximum thirty. If you give me something to do, like a task, yeah, I can fast. If it's, I'm bored, it's my lifestyle now. If I'm bored, yeah, it's like I have to eat. Okay, it's, I hear it's so you. Weird, I'm you the same way, but I don't eat unhealthy shit. Like oh, I eat, oh, eat fruit. I, I like ice cream too. But even, I'm not even a lot deny. of fruits bad for you. I mean, grapes. Sugar. Yeah, grapes, like grapes are no good. Yeah, mm. but berries are the best thing if you're going to do it. What kind of berries? Like uh, like blackberries, blackberries, yeah, yeah, strawberry, raspberry, strawberries. Yeah, strawberries. Those are the best. I like strawberries with a little sugar on them. Those are good. <laughs> the sugar, not so much, because you're doing sugar with sugar. You know what I'm saying? But now, would you eat it with yogurt, or would you have it with cottage cheese, or just plain? I'm trying to stay away from the cheese because I think okay. I had a high level of uh, okay. Yeah, L- dairy. Dairy's the enemy. L- L- dairy. L- <laughs> L- I don't want to have a heart attack right here as we're talking. Dairy and bread. If you can cut out bread, yeah. Yeah. See, with fasting, you can be more flexible with your foods. Okay. You can eat as long as you're staying within your window. Okay. I gotta, yeah, I gotta check that out then. It's pretty cool. 
You know, like for summertime, you'll see I'll I'll really tighten up my diet with fasting, that, and I get like lean fast. Do you know anything about the carnivore diet? Yeah, just eating meat. Now, is that healthy? People the are numbers. Hard. The numbers go down, so it's like your cholesterol goes down. Just on meat. Just on meat. But is it good for me with arthritis? That's I, that that. You're a different case. Get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I would like to do that. I, but it may be with meat. It may Because I know people with psoriasis. Yeah. And they can't eat too much meat because it flares them up. Yeah, that's what happens. So, that's what I'm saying. So I, I'm, I don't know if that would, you know. But what kind of, would I have to eat like very lean meat? I mean, leaner meat would, 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 would you help, wouldn't right? flare up like as much. Red, red stuff, whatever. Yeah. Red yeah. meat was what's going to make you flare okay. up. But if you're eating like turkey chop meat and chicken. Yeah, and, but then you don't right. get the carnivore diet because I think you have to have steak like beef. You can, but yeah. I mean, you and can chicken, eat leaner meat. Would you consider chicken that? Yeah, absolutely. Because okay, I do yeah, eat a lot meat. of chicken. It's meat. Okay. Yeah. yeah bacon. I, I gotta get in. You there. like bacon? Love bacon. Yeah. Bacon you can have with everything. <laughs> Bro, oh right? man, you can, you can, you can, you can. I go to the bagel spot over here around the corner. Yeah, and then on Sundays, my wife will will put the tray out and she'll mm -hmm. she'll like uh, sizzle the baking oh. in the oven. And and our oven is also a air fryer oven. Oh, okay, so better, bro. Oh. Yeah, any type. I think any type of bacon. Oh, <laughs> like more sensitive. You know what I'm saying. So what I'll do is I'll go get like a sesame seed bagel. I'm not sesame seed bagel. Um, everything bagel. Okay. And I'll have them put a little bit of cream cheese on it. Yeah. And then I'll come home. And then I'll put the bacon on it. You put bacon on cream cheese? Dude. It's I've never tried that. Good, man. That for a Jew, especially it's, when it's, it's all a hot. Especially when it's all hot and it's <laughs> yeah. like melting out of it. Wow. And then what I'll do is I'll get an extra bagel. Interesting. And then for like a Sunday. Yeah. Um, I love bagels on Sunday. Okay, so I'll cut it. I'll heat it. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll put peanut butter on it. Oh, that's good too. And the peanut butter melts in it. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, it's peanut good. butter and jelly. Yeah, well, not so much jelly. Oh, it's just peanut butter. I just like the peanut butter. Yeah. Yeah. Because peanut butter gives it that weird taste. Yeah, it does. It's a good taste, man. There's nothing like good bagel. Yeah, you yeah, talked yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the bagels are good, man. That's too funny. I try not to eat them too much. Those no, that's it's not because it's carbohydrates. Car, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. complex carbs are the. There's that one guy that eats carbs like crazy, and he's 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 like, oh, you can eat carbs oh. whatever you want. That oh. one guy, man, you'll see, you know, scroll through the the TikTok, you'll see him. Wow. <laughs> it's like an ad. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's like a good, good looking dude. Yeah. And, and then he's all muscular doing like, like one handed, like pull ups and shit. Oh, he's, he's one of those. Dudes. I think it's just an ad to sell his yeah, shit. Definitely. But, you know, he says, oh, you can eat carbs or whatever. You can eat carbs. The you v can, yeah, yeah. The V shred guy? You, see, I don't know. Is it V shred? I don't know. I don't know. You can eat carbs. But okay, he looks like a pretty guy. Yeah, yeah, pretty, it's v -shred. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but yeah. It, it's about, I think it's how you. How your body synthesizes the Probably. food. Probably everybody's different. Everyone's so you different. You just gotta find. You gotta find what your body is. What your body type is exactly. It? Ectomorph, a mesomorph. Yeah, yeah. So I already know. know that if I do fast, yeah, or I just I just stop eating as much. Yeah. I took a nutrition class one time, and the guy was like, "Listen, okay. eat less, exercise more." Yeah. You know, and he, was, he was looking at all like the fat girls yeah. in the class, obviously, because it, yeah. it was just me and a bunch of girls in the class. Yeah. And um, yeah. At, at the end, they all left and were like, "Oh, I can't believe you just said that." And I'm like, "Yeah, he's kind of right though." He was a coach, football coach. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, but it's true. You know what I mean? If you do eat less yeah. and exercise more, guess what's going to happen? Yeah, Good you, things. You got to moderate. You got to yeah. moderate. Yeah. That's the problem. People, that there's no, no, they don't moderate how they eat, you know? Yeah. So. And then there's there's just options out there. Fast food joints. Well, you don't want to And cook. the food is not real food. You know, is Chick-fil-A good? No, it's not. I've had it twice now. Never had it before. Oh, I've had it. My wife I've had, had it for me. I had the fried chicken sandwich pickles. Bro, and then we, went, we went in the place. Bro, it's like going to a restaurant. Oh, you went restaurant. in? I never went in. It's going to a restaurant. It's a drive through Yeah, but I, we went in because there was nothing else to do. Gotcha. And, dude, it a packed like a restaurant. Oh, bro, that place is... I was like amazed, yeah. man. And I don't know why they, people don't like that place. They crack in there. But I don't know why people don't like... So what? They're religious and they're closed on Sundays. Yeah. So they make some good chicken. They do. They do. The, the sandwich is good. But I'd rather go to Chick Fil A than fucking Popeyes. I agree. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even though I do miss from KFC. What the rolls? Oh, they're rolls. Oh, they're I rolls. was never a Red Lobster guy, but you ever have those rolls? Yeah, the Red Lobster. <laughs> and uh, you ever go down to the Wharf side? No. In Point Pleasant? No, I don't think. You never the Wharf side? No, bro. We gotta go. They make, they make they um, make the I think they're called the zipolis like a zeppelin type thing. Yeah, they make okay. uh, but they give it to you as, as well, on, on the pow with the powdered sugar on it. Yes. So you know, know how you know how you go to like a Spanish place That's, and they give you the tortillas. You. Yeah. Okay. No, they give they you the zeppelis. They give you the zeppelis. Oh, crowd. oh, with the corn in them. Yeah. Oh That's man, so good. when I was younger, I used to love that. Yeah, shit. of course. Yeah. You know. Now I kind of I gotta cut back a little bit, but carbs are the enemy. Now, some fried Oreos, man.
fried Oreos. You, you know, you, I'll tell you, the kids are young and I get it, but like you're going to reach a point I know. where you're like, I, I got to, I got to look out for me. You want a little like, long Sometimes I think, man, can I handle the heart attack? Yeah. You know what? Yeah, heart attacks are tough. I know. And if your triglycerides are high, yeah. it's definitely you got to stop eating the mayo. <laughs> well, one of my buddies just had a, a a stroke. Did he really? Yeah, it's like a walking stroke. It's crazy. And he said he he said he tried yelling for people and he couldn't. He was like, oh. yeah, oh. and he couldn't. He was trying to opening like aspirin and he couldn't. And then he's talking to. Oh, he, he at one point he needs life lock. Well, uh, yeah, at one point he was talking to his to his wife. Yeah, and she he was veering off and she couldn't understand him. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I listen. I, I like. I was like, oh man, you don't want to laugh. Yeah, man. no, I know, funny, I know. You know? We're we're both fucked up. You start thinking about yeah. that 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 the, the movie with the yeah, uh, the Wall Street, <laughs> where he went. This is he <laughs> totally skipped the one level. He went right to cerebral palsy. Yep. Yeah, he did. Oh my god. Oh, they did quaaludes yeah. back in the day. I never took quaaludes. I think my mom did quaaludes. Really? Yeah. I think my parents did them too. They probably all did, man. Remember when your parents both smoked cigarettes? That's probably why we're fucked up. Right? You know what I mean? But our, They were smoking cigarettes. I'm fucked up. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But it's like I can handle the fuck up. I remember. I'm like, I was smelling. My parents were smoking weed, definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and I'm like, what's that smell? It smells like a skunk, daddy. And, then, and my mom was like, oh, it was a bad cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they told me as a kid. You go to dad. Like, remember those bad. Remember those cigarettes? bad cigarettes? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, man, nah. you still. My parents used to smoke, man, but I, I got them to quit. I don't like. Didn't the, you? Yeah, I don't like the cigarette smoking. And I was like, yeah. listen, I was like, you know, once I start reaching sure. an age where I did research on my own and I knew yeah. cigarettes were bad for you, it's good. I, I was like, listen, you want to yeah. you want to see me walk down the aisle or do you not? Mm -hmm. And then, um, well, that's why a lot of people quit. got cancer. You know? Oh, yeah. Well, that's my from. father's friend passed away from poor guy. Yeah. Benson and Hedges lost their number one fucking guy. They don't know how bad, and you know what? And the vaping there, it's 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 it could be, is bad. Yeah, it could be worse. No, no. I wasn't anything you smoke, anything that you put foreign into your body, even smoking weed. People are like, oh, smoking weed's good. It's you're still fucking putting smoke into your lungs, bro. You are. You're, you you're are. smoking a fucking tree. It's yeah. The same shit. If I yeah. go outside and smoke a bark. You know what I mean? It may be natural, but it's still not good for you. Exactly. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's I what know. I'm saying, you know? And if you do do it, it has to be in moderation. Yeah, exactly. So. I mean, I, I know dudes out there that are fucking. I'm high on life now. Ex that's it? I am. I work out. I do the sauna. Yeah. I do cold showers. Okay. Yeah. Where you go to again? Yeah. <laughs> if you're coming with me, I'll well, tell you. I, I got I to go in there with the hoodie, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, this guy with the. With with the, the, with the yeah. Like, you would get yelled at. <laughs> Dude, uh, I was watching actually Planner fla uh, fa Fitness? Planter, Planter, Planter fasciitis. fasciitis. You can get that shit. Yes, you can. Toilet. Yeah. Man. Yeah. So fuck. How are you with going to the bathroom in public toilets? It doesn't bother me. doesn't bother you? Yeah. No. No. I build a nest. No. Do you? Yeah, I do. You no, know, I, I, in biology class one time, a teacher said, you can't you get can. diseases through your asshole. You can get crabs, though. Not really. It's not sitting on a bowl. I don't know. No. Nah. I mean, my balls are hanging I'm so more, hard. I'm more afraid <laughs> yeah. of getting bitten by a spider, like that movie Arachnophobia. You're bringing up the spiders I, again. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm not going I always check to the ball. fucking Australia. I always check the ball. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere. You, listen, there was a, a point where people were, were going to the, like a public bathroom, yeah. and they were getting Ill, very ill, like almost poisoned. And nobody knew what the hell the problem was. And under one of the seats of the bowl, yeah. there was a little spider. It was, and it, was a, it was a poisonous spider. And every time somebody sat me? down, you know how your skin hangs over or whatever? Yeah. It, it, it would pinch My skin you. doesn't hang. But you know what I mean, man. No, I it know. would pinch you. Really? Yeah. And then wow. you know, people were getting poisoned. They didn't even know. Crazy that shit. That is crazy. That's why I always check. Where I work, there's a bunch of spiders in the bathroom. Oh. But I leave them everywhere because I can see them. Yeah. And, and I always just check the bowl. But I leave them there because they eat all like the nasty other bugs. Yeah. I'm worried about my balls being bit. Yeah, in the water. In the water? I, am I safe in the water? I don't know. Because I'll just let him sit. I, I in remember the water. my friend that lived in New York. He always said, you know, stand. Don't sit down if you're gonna shit. He goes, kind of stand up a little bit. No. I, and I was like, why? He says, because rats swim up the. Um, rats will swim up and then bite your balls. So I got a funny story. Yeah. So I'm in the gym, and I go for a piss, and I'm like, all right, you know. Normal day, going for a leak. Yeah. I get a little uh, 
little little view in the, into the bathroom. Okay. And I, into the toilet area, okay. <laughs> and the guy, I'm, 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 I'm pissing at the urinal. I look over, and he's, he's standing, on the toilet, yeah, looking down <laughs> yeah. at my junk. Yeah, 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 and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I that was the first weird instance. Is that what you told him? What the fuck? I said, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> yeah. and then that? he, just, he's, I guess he squatted back down. Yeah, 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 he was standing on the toilet. Okay, I think sometimes was he making a motion? Certain cultures, yeah, they stand on the toilet. Okay, yeah. Another time, I, I work out. I decide I'm going to shower there. Oh, I go I've never into, showered in the gym. Oh, I have. I think it's weird. I still do it once in a while. I I don't want to shower. After my sauna, I have to. Shower because you know how many other people probably showered? Yeah. And it's fucking nasty to me. So so I go into the showers, and across from me is an Asian man. Yeah. And he is taking a dump oh, into okay. the drain, and he's mashing it down with his foot. Really? That's a real story. At the gym? At the gym. Oh, Never use those showers again. Yeah. But that one time. Probably happens. Oh. I'm not, have you ever shit in a shower? What if you're in a sh- Not me, but there's probably people that don't want to get out. That's disgusting. Because then you get out, you leave all your shit, you're already naked, you're wet. But you. They, they probably shit right in the shower at the gym, bro. That's don't why tell gym, me that. That's why gyms. Don't tell me that. Gym has to put um, um, garbage disposal in the shower. Oh, my God. You're scaring me because I no, I, dude, I shower listen, in a gym. There's nasty fucking two, people two out times there, a week. bro. Every, there's nasty people out there. Okay, I'm trying to find the good in people. No, I mean, th- listen, the, the, the family that you, your immediate family that you live with, have you not seen them do nasty shit? Yeah, I see my, my fucking kid does nasty shit all the time. Yeah, and then I think my kid was eating a sandwich on the shitter. <laughs> you go, okay. That's nasty. I've done that before, though. <laughs> You've done that? I've done that before. He was eating it like a ham sandwich. I had a I'm hamburger. Like, what the fuck? I had a hamburger and, he goes, and it came to me. I'm hungry. I'm like, how do you shit and eat while you're shit? Yeah. I can't do that. I, I would never that. bring food into the bathroom. At one time, you I brought food into the bathroom. Please comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. That, uh, never did that shit. No, why? No, I did. I did. I had yeah, a hamburger one time yeah. on that, but uh, I don't were you, shower. Were you gyms. were you straight or were you? I mean, straight. Like you brought a burger in, but were you drinking? Like no, no, was no. Like... I was eating the burger and I had to go somewhere, so I wanted to finish it, and I had to shit really. So quick. you multitask. Yeah, I, I pretty much multitasked. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I uh, finished it before I wiped. So I wasn't yeah, wiping. I know I finished it before I wiped. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a quick, I, I'm a quick said, eater. I took his food away. I said no. You're not okay. doing this. All right. You got to train them, right? I guess, man. Shit. Oh, but if you're in the military, you got to shit and eat at the same, you, at the same time. Yeah. You know? oh, I'm glad I didn't go that route. Yeah, military. You think you're survive? I, you know what? I mean, yeah. I, I could have definitely. In my younger years, without our yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I probably definitely could have. Oh, yeah. Because Up to 26, I would have been okay. I, I played sports, so it was like, yeah. and I was able to follow a coach. Okay. So I could follow. I went to wrestling camp once out in the middle of Pennsylvania, like just just East Bumblefuck. And they were waking, up, waking us up in the middle of the night. Yeah. Five mile runs. Okay. I'm 14 years old. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they were just abusing the fuck out of us. Yeah. You know? Came back though, I was a bad motherfucker. Yeah. Tell you. Did you but, um uh if you were in the military and they wanted you to like shoot civilians and shit, would you follow orders? I mean, I was never the type to to follow orders. Yeah. So I was always like, like if a you black knew shooter. it was wrong, but they gave you an order, would you that's follow a, through? That's a tough one. You I, know what I mean? Because they try to train you not to be em- having emotions. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I I don't I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, young me, maybe. Old me, no. Yeah. So. It depends. I guess it depends on your training at that point. It depends on your training. It depends on who trained you. Yeah. You know, like a crazy psycho that trained you. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Fired up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my buddy. My buddy. I got to get him he on. He said he's a, yeah, yeah he's military, a military guy. Yeah, yeah, let's bring him in. Man, just ask him a bunch of questions. Yeah, I have I questions. I like to do a lot of stuff. About you know? Stuff, man. Yeah. Did they touch you in the showers? You know. <laughs> <laughs> now, were you getting shot at? <laughs> While taking a shit, <laughs> or were you eating? You ever, you know, were you ever? Tube sandwich. Were you eating a, a fucking steak sandwich? I'll push it out of a log. Oh man! Uh, oh my! Did you sleep in the sand in Afghanistan, or did you sleep in the? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Right. He was well before before we go, man. He was telling me about the um the desert spiders. Yeah, they look they're like, big. Also, they look like uh, oh, camel spiders are called. 
Where they look like the alien, the things from the aliens that grip your face. Are you serious? Oh, he's fuck about it, them, and He's like, they creep all over the place. Oh, fuck that. Yeah. No. Oh, it's crazy, right? No, fuck that. They, like, hang on to the camels and suck the uh, the blood out of the camel. Are there balls? <laughs> if that's where they're <laughs> <you're> hanging, bro. <laughs> Yeah. The way the way you did that, I I felt like you were holding the Cowboys balls. Benoit, Benoit balls. Yeah, ben, yeah, yeah. Is that Benoit balls? Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. Are those the balls that the those are the balls for your butt, right? Yeah, the Benoit's. Yeah, the Benoit's. Yeah, the Kegel exercises. Yeah, you, yeah. you put them in your ass, and then yeah, I I want to. If you pull them out real fast, you could start them up like a chainsaw. I saw porno one time where a guy wrapped his 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 balls in vinyl. Yeah, like in a in a, in a shape of a tight. Piece. Wow. Tight, and he was he was DPing a chick with himself. Wow, yeah. into her butt. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty wild. That was wild, man. I mean, I like yeah. a little. I like the ball action, but it, it scares me a little bit. Like, I, I don't know if I want to tape them up. Yeah. But I, they could. That mine can definitely take a beating. <laughs> <laughs> With that note, man. <laughs> oh man, welcome to episode four. Stay tuned for episode. Bye. JB and Apex signing off. Signing out. Peace out. <laughs>